So just eating a Skittle, I, I don't know how it happened. I think I went to pop one in my mouth and it fell on the floor. So I was like, fuck. So I just like, you know what I mean? Went to go flick it and went in the cage. And then like one monkey like runs to it, you know, picks it up and like looks at it. You know what I mean? And then another <laughs> monkey just comes and fucking smacks him. You know, smacks it out of his hand, like hits him a little bit, picks it up. You know what I mean? It's like Smeagol, like in Lord of the Rings with the ring. You know, one ring to rule them. You know what I mean? That kind of shit right talking to himself <laughs> so these guys are like fighting and then one monkey finally like pushes the other one and, like and he rolls a bit and the other monkey picks up the skittle and he puts it in his mouth and he, and he spits it out you know what i mean then he picks it up again <laughs> and he and then he spits it out and throws it right because it was too sour for him bro funniest experience i've ever had like at the zoo bro throw a fucking skittle in a monkey tank and like you just see them go buck wild you know what i'm oh. saying and also the penguins But I, I didn't tell them they were hookers until they left. So Paul did it. Like, I just took my girl in the bedroom. You know, I was chatting her a bit, playing Pong with Paul. I'm like, hey, you want to just go to the bedroom? And she's like, yeah, yeah, sure. Paul, like, he was, like, trying to wheel her, you know, getting her to play naked Pong and stuff. I'm like, you know, Paul, you could just totally go to the bedroom and just told her what to do. And he's like, bro, what the fuck? Like, I thought it'd be funnier this way, you know? Like, it was for me. I was paying for it either way, right? So I'm going to pay for my own humor. Yeah, yeah. Pay for my own humor. <laughs> well, we've been live for about one minute now, so. <laughs> Have we really? Yeah, yeah. Good story to oh, start with. Oh, shit. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I'm black at it again. <laughs> and we're live. John Luke Cassini, everybody. Live. I know, I know. That's why I, I wanted to start it because it's it such guy, a funny hey, story. The guy. man, the myth, the barn. <laughs> That's it. It's welcome, guy, welcome. Hits me with a fucking blind side. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to turn so many levels down right oh, now. I know it's going to be a loud one. Oh, for sure. Right. I'm going to mix some more of my drinky poo after I spill the tea. With that, <laughs> any, we could do a lot. So, you know, it's, uh, it spilt, could start wherever the fuck we want the to tea, start. Says. Yeah, we could cut this shit, you know, put it back together. And it this is good. Cheers. Doctor well, we said no. I said yes. Yeah. I said fuck you, Doc. Like all your blood tests are perfectly normal. I go. So I, can I start drinking again? Oh, you know, let's wait till you go to the gastroenterologist. Like, dude, are you crazy? Like, all blood levels are good. Why the hell? Am I yeah, this is good as fuck. They, dude, they might do a colonoscopy. <laughs> that's the. That's you know what though? Test. I wouldn't mind it because I feel like that's something that's gonna terrify all men until they have to do it. So I'm like, if I get it over with right now, when I'm a young kid. I'm not going to be scared about it anymore. True, true, so wait, wait. You want to get fucked in the ass twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when was the first time or the second time? No, when you got to do it. You got to do it when you're older either way. You got to mic, buddy. You got you to do it either way in front of the, for the physical, bud. So yeah. you want to get it done now and when you're older. Well, at least I'm not scared of it. It's probably a little camera. Yeah. That's what happened when I had my heart attack. Dude, the doc's like, yeah, your heart looks good. Everything like, looks like it's good to go. I was like... So I, I can go, go, yeah, you're being discharged. I go, cool, straight to the party, fuck it. Heart's looking good, let's get into it. Came and looking like 50 Cent. John, like, you like this song or something? Oh, it's been playing? <laughs> it's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good song, though. Toes, Zach Brown Band. Toes. All right. Oh, man. I need to mix some more tonic. So, Jay, yeah. why did you sleep all day today when we were trying to film this podcast? I had down. I just I woke up at... Nine, fucking was up for ten minutes. Turned back over. Oh, and so I said, you I was did five. wake up in the morning. Yeah, I, I always wake up at like nine. I just turned back over. Yeah, he doesn't give on. us a call, eh? I thought you were uh, in the hospital again. Usually, like two o'clock, you answer by two o'clock. But yeah, no, I was just fucking out, oh, right. out like a light. That's right. Like that's a light. Were you uh, working the midnight shift? No, you fucked. Come on, yanking on the hammer, yanking on the the big old pastrami. <laughs> Made that shit look like roast beef. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is floating nicely. This is actually pretty good. Mm. This is a good one. I like the lemon. Good touch. I usually do grapefruit, but we're already slacking on his fruits and vegetables, I guess. Is that my fault? <laughs> blame, the, blame the madre. Bro. I need a joint. You're just smoking that in the room? Yeah, it throws everybody for a loop. <laughs> it does. It does. I didn't know there was so free spirit in the house. You could just smoke in the house. It's the podcast studio. Right, you do whatever you want in here. Right? It changes. Guys, we're in black and white. You got to act like we're in black and white. Exactly. If you don't think like you're in black and white, it's not. <laughs> I'm zoned in now, baby. Oh, man. 
I don't know where the, the smoke goes. It definitely doesn't go inside because if you look at this fortress block in the fucking window. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. It goes into your bed sheets and shit. So whatever, I'll change bed sheets. Oh, it smells great. Like a rainforest in there. <laughs> Just don't smoke cigarettes. Like a rainforest. Yeah, no, I don't want the smell of cigarettes. I remember when we were in Tremblant, we uh, had a smoking room. We didn't stay with you guys. <laughs> So we were just hacking darts in there, you know? So I fell asleep with a 2-6. Oh, when we went, like, yeah, in yeah, high we school. went in high school. So I fell asleep with a 2-6, obviously Saza, because I was a cheap fuck back then. And uh, it was Saza. Well, you had to start somewhere. Huh? Fuck the joint, bud. <laughs> no, so I wake up in the morning, and there's just a fucking burn stain on my bed from, like, when I, was, I fell asleep smoking a cigarette. And just, like, I, I thought I pissed myself, but it was just a fucking full thing of a 2-6 of tequila, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, hopefully my body absorbs some of it, you know, because I didn't want to go to waste. But who knows? I'm not a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so this joint, buddy. Remember in Cuba when I pour the beer on my head, you know, right through the hair follicles? Yeah. yeah. Got to get it somehow. What was it, what was it for? Right in Cuba when I never go to the... Whenever I'd go to the bar, I'd always order 20 drinks. You know, 10 for the for the group, 5 for the head, and 5 for myself. Dude, right you remember bar. how hard it was to get fucking 10 beers in Cuba? How long oh, it took? they thought we were nutcases. Yeah. Like they've never seen Remember alcoholics. Remember we went pre-beach, there was that little bar right before the beach. Yeah, we had yeah. to hold like four each and we chugged two. We're like, yeah. we That's why I would pour five on my head before leaving the bar. And yeah. then I'd order five more and then I'd come to the back with 15. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hasta, Hasta was a fucking animal. Oh, he was going Animal out. that week. Bro, Dude, nine in the drinking morning. drinking all the time. I'm hurting fucking 9 a.m. Hey said, yo, yo, just took some BCAAs. Let's go to the bar, get some get some breakfast, some beers. Hey said, are you fucked? <laughs> I, need, I need a good two hours to find my life, figure it out for a second. Yeah, but that's what kept us going. Mm. Bro, we made it. I made it five days. You made it six days before we take it a rest day. Yeah. Hey yeah. said made it all seven. All yeah. seven. All well, seven. Cruise control. Strep throat really put me fucking under there. <laughs> <laughs> you were fucking. That, that was only guy. the last night. Yeah, yeah, because you guys went to the club and I stayed home and I watched that movie with the fucking horse in the war. The <laughs> stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what is that fucking movie called? I don't know. The horse in the war? You know that movie. Where it's just a fucking... No, it's a war movie, but it's about a horse. It's a horror movie? No, a war movie, oh. but it's about a horse. <laughs> I thought I heard this thing, this thing is just right. running the whole movie. You know what I mean? Running through battle. It's World War One, so they had horses. I don't think I've ever heard. fucking heard about this. Never heard of this oh, movie. you gotta watch it. It's trash, but it's just mad. <laughs> it's, it's you know, it's it's majestic. There's just a horse running through a World War One battlefield, and it just doesn't die the entire movie. Yeah. And then I, I think it dies at the end by like a, a shell hits it and just blows up. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't make a second one of these movies. You know what I mean? Main character fucking's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no dude you got fucked you got fucked with strep throat at cuba fuck dude i've never seen two tonsils hit each other touch each other bro it was touching your uvula That's there was no hole for fucking That's air fun. to go through bro you couldn't even fit a nickel down there <laughs> bro i have a video of all of us sitting on that fucking lob that lobby waiting for the bus to take us to the fucking airport like haven't slept came back from the cave rave bro yeah. Hurting, hurting. Looked at John Luke, fucking the worst strep throat you ever seen. Goddamn fucking Cuba, man. Yeah, yeah we were fucked. No, I, no. I, I got off that plane. I got picked up by the mother. She's like, I literally as soon as she picks up, hop you in didn't the car. come over. No, no, I went straight home. I was like, I hopped in the car. I go, Wendy's right now. Yeah. I need a fucking burger. I need a burger. Because that food forward. was fucking trash. Tra oh, garbage, disgusting. garbage food. Disgusting. It was funny. The first day we got there, remember we were sipping, uh, throw, like before we could check in. Yeah, so yeah, I was fucking yeah. hammered. No, no, me and John Luke were on Xanax. Yeah, Let's just yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't fucking remember. Boys, checking you want to go on a plane to take six beers and a <laughs> Zanny? You'll wake up in that country. <laughs> I don't. Bro, I remember being in a fucking ocean. <laughs> yeah. On a plane, you guys handing us the fucking uh, piece information of information yeah, forms, yeah. bro. The passport fucking information. Yeah, that was the best. The, the stewardess comes by and she's like, "Yeah, you guys got to fill this out." So you guys were both just fucking out cold. Jay, just not yeah, even John Luke. There's a guy sitting beside us too, and that guy thought we were fucking Looney Tunes. Yeah, yeah, you guys were just incoherent. Did he, bro? We got on. the plane. I don't plane. remember anybody sitting beside us. We got us. on the plane. And I had mine in my sock, so I, I remember I put my foot up, and like he's just yeah, like, take a pill too. out of my sock, and then you just like take it out of your wallet or something, and he's just looking at us, and we just pop it and look at you. I'm like, I'll see you in Cuba, bro. <laughs> I remember that, bro. And I, I saw I you in fucking Cuba. There I'll was the uh, there was the seat, and they had the music, you know, where you could plug in your headphones. And I plugged yes. in, and there was the classic music. And I said, Brevet, tune into the station, and you'll be out in five minutes. Bro, we were out, and we woke up in Cuba. Yep. Yeah. I woke music. up in an ocean, bro. Yeah. I remember putting my fucking stuff in the lobby and then in a, being in an ocean. You have a lighter? Yeah, crazy. Where are we What ashing? were you saying, though, Jay? Um, Where are we ashing? I just on the floor. Just it doesn't any, anywhere, guys. Yeah. Anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. It's a free for The world's um, oyster. <laughs> 
Yeah, so I remember you have to fill out the, the, the paperwork for, I don't know what it's called, declaration or something? I don't yeah. know what it is. Yeah, passport, yeah, immigration Cuban forms. Passport. Yeah. Yeah. Immigration forms. So me and Hasted fill ours out, and then you guys were just like, just in, in fucking space. Space. So yeah. Hasted hands his, his sheet to you, and he goes, Bebetti, copy this and fill it out. You go, okay, I got it. <laughs> you take, you look at his, you start writing <laughs> the information down. But you wrote, you copied exactly what Haystead, Haystead wrote. Daniel so you wrote Haystead Daniel that. Haystead one nine. Yeah, not his address. Fuck that. We were we but, were doing the. Yeah, I was doing. I was copying up Rivetti. He was copying up. Yeah, I, was, I remember <laughs> handing it back. You said to copy, you, like, bro. I can't do this, bro. And I remember the the students came by and she asked you guys if she asked you guys for something and you guys just kind of mumbled to her and you, she, so she asked you, you guys like uh, just kind of mumbled and she's looked she's like. <laughs> <laughs> just kept walking. <laughs> she's like, this is not what I get paid. To oh, do. bro, I was dying. It was a good Bro. fun, man. I was freaking out. Good I, I don't fun. do all No, no, no. The, the, the Xanax, the beer wedding crasher Xanax combo, John Luke, buddy, fucking amazing. Yeah, trust me. Yeah, a few of them were, were pretty good over there, too. We, we used them for some things. We didn't do Xanax there. We didn't have it, did we? Other people did. Did you do Xanax? Other there? people did. Come on. Huh? You had it? I didn't personally do it, no. The one guy that wanted to fight me, he did it. Yes. I remember we were gonna, we were, we were, I was talking to when we first met Nectarios and like the the, the Greek boys. The Greek boys. The the guy next door comes up to you, goes, "Hey, listen, you want you want you want a pitch on a bag?" I'm like, yeah, bag yeah sure, or I'm, baking I'm down. soda. I'm like, yeah, I'm down, sure. He goes, "All right, yeah." He's like, "We just gave the money to this guy, and he gave the money to his kid. His kid's gonna run up to the room and get it." I'm like, "Yeah, all right." <laughs> that that we did not see that kid. It's that, a quick robbery. No, did you not, didn't see the didn't kid. See the, didn't, never. Nobody came back. The guy dipped, gone. That was see it. you later. No bag. Unfortunate, nope. but what are you gonna do? I heard people went to Cuba for power, like for the, one of the S trips. It was with, in my like a, f- a friend of mine's grade, and this one kid that was kind of like nerdy, whatever. He went out and like there, you know how in Cuba you could kind of like what we walked through, like kind of like a city almost. So he was in the city yeah. and asked some guy like, "Oh, can I get a bag?" So the guy's like, "Yeah, yeah, sure, like four hundred, you know, four hundred U.S. or four hundred Canadian, whatever it was, probably U.S." Hands him the money. The guy gives him a bag, just the fucking flour. You know? No. So the guy looks at it, and, like he tastes it, and he goes. Like, it was a nerd kid, but he knew it. He's done the end before. He tastes He's like, this is flour. The guy's like, you just bought it off a of Cuban. What do you think was going to happen? And just walked away with his money. Just bought it How off much did he buy it for? It's like 400 US. Holy shit. But this when guy I, was like bro, a nerdy kid, right? Bro, when I went to Dominican, they were trying to charge me $50 for a gram of weed. Yeah. I'm like, yo, $10 maximum I'll pay. And then, like, I met somebody when I traveled the island, like a local, not like um, somebody trying to sell weed in a tourist spot. Yeah. Like a local who owned the Airbnb basically rented it out to us. He was like, dude, I don't, if you're a tourist here, never pay more than a dollar for a gram of weed. Yeah, because it's bush. A dollar. <laughs> like, he goes, I literally that. have a buddy. I'll get you a bunch of weed before you leave the Airbnb tomorrow. I ended up not getting it. Whatever happened, yeah. but I'm like, oh. yeah, yeah. No, because the growing conditions. Fifty bucks, there bro, for bush, one bro. for one yeah. gram. You don't. You think I'm fucking stupid? I'll pay ten dollars for a gram. I'll pay exactly what I paid. I don't give a shit. Yeah, so no, I don't no, give a shit. But what, like not jokes. fifty dollars, dude. <laughs> I think this guy's charging one for one gram of fucking weed. I got the best shit. No, dude, you're crazy, man. I don't think they could even grow like proper weed over there. Like just with the fucking. Um, they do. They do. I think they do a lot. It's cut. hot though. I don't think it's cush. Yeah, that's why you need you need cool type. Yeah. It can't be too hot, right? It's just think Ontario is like one of the best places to grow. Niagara region's best is place it? to is grow. It? Yeah, yeah. No, they don't get. The best they cannabis. get. They like it. Yeah, it's an island, bro. They get rained on like heavy one day, and then like maybe for an hour or two hours, and nothing. Like it just passes right over. Wow. I just know Canada has the best growing conditions for. Does uh, it? Eh? Yeah, that's why we grow so much. Well, America's bigger, but like they just have the area. They got more places. Yeah. Well, the more you know. Jay Z, you're learning a geography lesson, guys. That's it. What a flavor! <laughs> what a flavor! Shout out Rick, man. <laughs> no, you won't see this. Fuck you. It's fine. Might down the road. He's too know. busy on war zone. He's in war zone. Eh? Losing it. Biggest no, trash. No, no, that's bullshit, man. Rick, the best is playing uh, with Resendives. Oh, he gets so oh, cheesy, bro. This guy goes off. Bro, fuck this game. I'm off. Just turns it off. Like, <laughs> oh really? Whenever oh, he yeah, goes so down, good. I make yeah, sure if I'm it? playing with him bro. to chase him down and revive him, or else there's yeah, gonna yeah, be, or else there's gonna, gonna be hell to pay. Yeah, I'm gonna. Do you guys get a lot it. of revives in a game, or is it like? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So like they, eleven, like yeah. in the new one, it's like eleven. Eleven, a game. yeah. You're yeah, reviving ridiculous. somebody every five minutes. I was about yeah. to say because in in Fortnite it's not like that. You get down, like you're typically going out, so it's a little bit different, eh? Yeah, yeah. I don't like Fortnite because I don't know if I it's like, like a shooting game or if it's like Bob the Builder. Yeah, kind yeah, of, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. You know what I mean? Am I building a house or am I killing men? I, like I don't know what it is. Yeah, we we were big in the Fortnite for a while there. I, every fucking day. I couldn't day. play it. I couldn't. I, I used to get a message from Haley. Every fucking uh, <laughs> she knows, yeah, everyone knows I gave that look. Um. Get from here every day. You gotta put these glasses back on. Twelve p.m. You're tripping yeah. out without your glasses on. <laughs> the Maui gyms continue. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Uh, yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, I get a message from Haley. Twelve uh, at noon, essentially. Hop on the sticks. 
would game for about two, three hours, take a little break. Was she good? She not when we were playing. Could be good. Not when games. we were playing with her. She wasn't the best. But then after we stopped talking to her for a bit, and then we started talking to her again, she started. She got a bit better because then she joined her uh, esports team. Is there like steroids you can do to get better at gaming, or is it just you know what I mean? Just more time you put in. What? <laughs> <laughs> is there like a limitless drug that this girl was taking just to get better at video oh, games? No. Can I have She's... the vibe to listen to this fucking? She kid? was just. Um, she was just. Um... Guy doesn't want to smoke tobacco. He Thank wants you. a cotton candy. Shout out, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, Bob, where are you? We gotta get Rick on here, right? Eh? Fuck. Can you? What is he? What do you guys talk about when you're playing sticks? Yeah, we talk about the market, ball and stock. They talk about stocks, then we talk about yeah, ball. Yeah. Truth. Then we do. Truth. Truth. <laughs> if you haven't watched the reaction video, what are you doing, guys? Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro! What was I talking about? Uh, what were you? I don't remember. I I think it was. Me saying something like you just you can't stop LeBron. It's, it's something like that. And something just, like that. Just true. <laughs> I'm up. glad you saw that one. Man. I oh my god, I fucking it sent me. It Sense. fucking sent me. So you got a couple of pilsners here. Jay likes to keep it local. I might have to shotgun that. Straight from Yemen. Yeah, good. Not is this right from Deutschland? Uh, no, this is uh, I don't know where this is from. Shout out John Ruda. Put me on the pilsners. But uh, it's not from Deutschland. It is from. Rudy was supposed to come work out. Where the fuck is he? Eh? Yeah, we need to get back into working yeah, out, yeah, bro. Yeah. You got to come at least once. No, a week yeah. Again. This once guy week can't fun. get his car. I want to go. Like I can pick you guys up. I can pick you guys up. Well, you know, like that was never an option. Well, I, it's always an option. This guy never mentions. Listen, options. if you guys come at me like I really want to work out, say like you're both texting me. I'm down. I'm like, dude, no problem. I'll pick you up. Okay. No right. problem. I'm gonna hold this man to his word because you guys know it. It's it's been filmed. <laughs> it's been filmed. You just cut it. Can we do like a you know like Rocky Balboa in that movie when he was versing the Russian? He was just like lifting wood and shit. I want to say his name probably. Hi, guy. Fuck it. (laughs) Rocky Balboa. Is that it? Balboa. (laughs) Rocky Balboa. Yeah. No, that that, that sounds butchered. Keep going. going. Balboa. Yeah, but you know he does the workout outside where he's just you know lifting trees and shit. I want to do that kind of. I don't have that ability. Oh, we just go to the forest with a fucking axe. You, yeah, cutting down the tree would be a workout in itself. Yeah, for sure. Then Yo, we have the, the tree to work out in the In the summer, future. we'll take a trip to Vancouver in a car, and we'll chop down trees along the way. You're nuts. No, I'm you smart. Did, we'd be in jail in five minutes. For, you can't just cut Dude, down trees. Do you trees. know how much open fucking land Canada is? There's no way people are finding it. You, you don't just pull up on a highway and just cut down no, a tree. No, no, no. You find a nature center. You fucking <laughs> go. You park. You walk for this a guy couple. wants to go to a conservation area. <laughs> oh, no, no. Dude, if I drive across Canada, I'm bringing a tent, and I'm like stopping in some type of little parking lot and walking straight into the bush and, and camping. Are you one of those people that like see like you know the world's biggest <laughs> apple, and then you stop at like every single one of those? You know what I mean? Like the biggest ball. A yard, you know what I mean? And you just have to see it, you know, I am, I have am. to see it. <laughs> I am. Guy wants to smoke a cigarette in every city or something like that. That's yeah. a sketch. Leave his mark. I 100% would. You would not do that, dude. You would want to see the biggest nickel. Come on, the dude. You're on a road trip. You're doing fucking nothing. You're like, yo, you would fucking do it. Yo, keep it down. Marcus. I can't lie. I would do it. Can't, can't, yeah, yeah. There we go. You can uh, tilt the mic up. Oh, there we if, go. Uh, if it sounds better, yeah, yeah. It's like a magnifying glass. But you can put the thing a little down more so we can see your fit, pretty face. Yeah, manipulate it. Move it. You can hold it. Like, it's, it's pretty good. It, go, it comes forward a little bit. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's good? Yeah. Might want it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Maybe lift up this. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's good. That's good. good. I think, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Continue. We're not cutting that out. That was prime. Prime. Mike mechanics. <laughs> Mike mechanics. If any of you are getting into radio and broadcasting, that's how you uh, you know, move around a mic. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just check something. How are you doing, Jay? I'm buzzing. It's been a minute. You buzzing like Jayco buzzing? Yo, I'm, like I, I miss Mike. I miss this way this way this podcast. Style it's been a hot minute. What like the two months? Yeah. Yeah. The other one was fun. Yeah. For a different reason. This is fun. This is good. Yeah. Oh, this is comfortable. Back to the basics. Yeah. Who's this kid? <laughs> I went to uh, Michael Power uh, After that uh, I did a s- little stint In George Brown Didn't a like stint. it <laughs> I did a stint I did, I did a bid <laughs> Didn't no, really did you, like What did you it? take What the fuck did you take I went to school for marketing But that was um, You had Talking to go like people care You'd have to go All the way downtown <laughs> You know what I mean If you live in Etobicoke And you go to a university In downtown There are so many days Where you're like You get on the subway And then there's a delay Whenever there was a delay and it was like, oh, you got to take like one of those, um, they're like, oh, we have like st- streetcars like that'll take you to the next uh, subway line or whatever. I would turn around and go home. 
you know, I ain't waiting 30 minutes in a packed bus just to get an education. That's not <laughs> something I'm doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. Even when I went to Hummer South, like I, I rented a place because for me to get from my house to um, South Campage, which is like, you know, you take the 45, take the 44 and you're there, like maybe 30 minutes. I know it. Impossible. I want to be able to wake up and walk to fucking school. So that's why you got a house. That's why I got a house two years in a row. I would take my little BC Clet. You know, I did want a golf cart, live like Van Wilder, you know what I mean, like yeah, Humber, yeah, yeah. but I couldn't afford a golf cart. And I, I, they, they How said, long was it from your house to get there? To walk to Humber, probably like 15 minutes. That's it? 10 minutes. Oh, so it must have been it's one. The street, there's probably yeah. different campuses of Humber, yeah? Right? Yeah, there's so Humber two. North, which I would never go to because okay. it's just one building, and then South, it's all outside. It's all oh, separate it's buildings. Nice. Yeah, it's yeah, by yeah. the lake, yeah. right? It's like. Uh, did you, how many classes did you have a week? Uh, six. Holy shit, did you go to most of them or not? I, I went to every single one, but the first year, the guys that I... Um, like that like I, where i was like good friends with after first year they all got uh kicked out either they failed um they dropped out or just like you know what i mean like one was selling guns at one point. <laughs> you know i had one so time the guy that was selling the shoddy out the back of his car no. no 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 i was in his car and he's like yeah bro my other car was uh i was at a party and there was a shooting so my car's parked on the same street so i had to leave it and he's like, yeah, so I'm using uh, like my other vehicle. I'm like, what do you use this vehicle for? He's like, oh, just mostly business use. So like, oh, well, like, what's your business? He's like, oh, look in the trunk. Look in the trunk. There's like about 20 tasers, like a couple schoolies. <laughs> I was like, bro, can uh, can you open the door here? I, I, I got out of it with uh, Austin and I just oh, we walked back to school. I was like, I'm not sitting in this car, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> absolutely not, bro. Like, yeah, you know wow. I mean, he's like, do you want to buy a taser? Like, I was tempted. Like, I, I would have fun. With, <laughs> I would have fun with the taser, just you know, tasing like my boy, like you know, tasing a friend or something when we're drinking or tasing each other. You know, a, little, a tase party, if I should say. A tase party. <laughs> you know, would I you tase be, yourself first, or would you just? Tase yeah, because you could change the setting, right? So I, I tried on myself first, then I'd be like, Yo, Jalen. You know what I mean? Without a talk, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guy just smoking. Do you think Jay would freak out? Oh, Jay would get fucking cheesed. Yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> no, for sure. Yeah. He would have a good laugh after like two minutes, but yeah. he'd be right rattled. Yeah, I'd be rattled at the initial. But I think getting electrocuted, he'd be out like for five, ten minutes and just like gathering his thoughts, you know? So like <laughs> just the time of his just, anger Jay, will pass. Jay, you don't get mad, but when you get mad, it's just, it's sad. You know, I don't like to see you mad, man. Yeah, I get, yeah when I get mad, I get It's mad. very rare, which is good, you know? I'll take uh, like one mad. out of ten percent. Like well, I, feel like, I feel like I got a darkness over me. That's why I have to get this, you know, upside down cross. Upside down. That's why you got that? No, but just, that's just cool. Just spitting on all <laughs> Catholics, I, I didn't actually, eh? I literally did not even know this was upside down. Uh, yeah, right upside now, down yeah. I've been looking at it. Yeah, yeah. That would have been even more fucked, eh? You get the horn. Instead if it was upside it's an down. an Italian thing. It's like, words off the devil. It's a horn. It looks sick. It's a horn. It's, it's an Italian thing. Wow, yeah. get I want to get like a little chili pepper. That's what it is. <laughs> it, you ever seen the cordon yet? It's like a fucking chili pepper. Oh, I, I, I swear to God, you've seen your Italian. Google it. Google it. Sure. Google it. Tell me you saw that video I sent you with the guy where he's looking through the telescope. Not no, the telescope. no. What was it? Oh, man. Did you watch it? Where'd you send it to me on? Um, I think on the group chat. Can we show it to the fans right here? We we're multi diversal on that. Yeah, diversal? yeah. How do we do that? Diverse. Diverse. Do, do I, do I airdrop it into the camera? <laughs> no, no, I do it afterwards. <laughs> oh, here, let me show you guys. Can I turn it John off? Luke, look at this. It's like a pepper, but it's a oh, whore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Represents warding yeah. off the devil. Oh, like no, cousin you gotta get one. Yeah, it's the it's it's in the top. Okay, you ready for this? How do I do can I show No, you just show us. You just show oh, us. Oh, okay. damn it. Jay, what the fuck are we watching? I, I have no idea. <laughs> But you know why I didn't see that? Because you send us videos of the movies you're watching all the time. And it's, that's what I thought it was. I just fucking no, skipped yeah, it. I just, I can... <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a golden one. That was a golden nah, one. I don't like it. My uncle sent me that one. And I was dying. I had to send it to bare people. <laughs> all right. <sighs> send me something that I shouldn't be doing against doctor's orders. Thank Eey. you. Smoke the weed pen, bud. That's hundred percent against doctor's orders. I already smoked the joint. Oh, for Second the uh, also for the fans or for the back in Tulsa. Maybe two, two, 
two fans we have. Not that we're not a loser. I don't know. Not that, not don't, that we're not don't, a loser. Do not today. say that with content, Jay. We got two fans. That's enough. That's enough. That's, that's two enough. people that believe in you, man. That's it. That's it. One no, no, that's Bianca it. What's up, Bianca? Shout out, Shout Bianca. out, B. We know you're going to watch this. <laughs> Shout out, B, man. Honestly. I think Rig watches all ours, too. Shout out, Rig. Shout out, Rig, too. Shout out, Rig and B. Riggy. Number one couple support. Number one couple support. Hey, said, Laura, what are you guys doing? We're going to, yo, we're going to, let's, let's bring let's it up to Laura. We'll get in there. she comes. Yeah, we'll get in there. Tomorrow. No, today. When she oh, comes, we're going to rip. Yo, gonna I'm ordering a fucking nice tray of sushi as this <laughs> podcast is done. Like, let me tell you, you you fans out there don't even know what sushi is until you eat this sushi. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but, uh, Anywho, yeah, for the for the fans, just so everyone knows, on our first or second podcast we did, or third, I don't know, one one to three out of those podcasts, the $1,000 date, this is him. Oh yeah. Oh, what up? <laughs> this is it. This is the guy, the barn. Shout out. The barn stinks. This is for people who see our shit, you know, maybe a year down the line and are going, I want to see the receipts. I want to see the first ones. And this is a little Easter egg for them. I could go into my bank account and show you, but I, it's, it's a lot of scrolling involved. There's <laughs> a lot of scrolling. It's not one transaction of a thousand dollars, is it? No, it's multiple. Maybe six or, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, multiple. Maybe six or seven. It's a night event. <laughs> The restaurant, like, I didn't know. Like, the, the food was phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? But What was the I, name of the restaurant, by the way? Oretta. Should we it's recount a, it? I want to hear is it. Is it across from Lavelle? It's beside Lavelle. Beside yeah. Lavelle. Okay. Because me and Ace were down there one day. Like, this restaurant's, like, a really nice, classy Italian joint. Okay, okay. Um, but, like, the food was great and everything. Uh, and the waiter, man, he was saying, like, er, like the he was saying the menu, like, perfectly, you know? I, said, I even asked him. I was like, "You Italian?" He's like, "No, no, no. I'm like, uh, I'm Colombian." I was like, "Man, you speak like really good Italian, right?" Nice. So I was like, "Wow, this is like really good." We stayed there from eight thirty to twelve thirty. So like, I didn't know, but every time I was, we were ordering shots of tequila. It was, um, what's the one you guys drank on like one of your podcasts? Casadores. Yeah, Repisau. Casadores, the hundred and fourteen dollar bottle. No, um, no, so we don't get that. Oh shit. no, it's you pointed out to me when we were in Blue Mountain. I don't know the name of it, but it's a different one. Oh, Casa de Amigos. Casa de Amigos. Casa de Amigos. Casa de Amigos. So you could picture drinking a hundred and fourteen dollar bottle. Yes, so that's the price at LCBO. But at a restaurant, that's probably around a twenty five dollar shot. So if you're taking shots, maybe like four, five, six shots, it's a pretty expensive bill just on drinks. So then my um, gin and tonic, uh, just a shot of gin and double, obviously, I ain't no bitch. Um, <laughs> That itself is like twenty dollars as well. So staying there from eight thirty to twelve thirty, and maybe like having you know like a, an appetizer and a main plus maybe fifteen drinks each or ten drinks each, yeah, it's a little quite quite the bill. The real bill was Lavelle. Like fuck that place. Yeah, Lavelle, they rent you there, man. Can you uh, can you tell us from the beginning a little bit? What, what? what? Like how, how you got roped into this day? How this all happened? <laughs> roped. This guy says. Well, at a thousand dollars, it might sound like that. <laughs> no, like I think, um, I, think, I think we we recounted it pretty. Accurately, I hope we did I no think. good justice to. You. I think we respect. I don't know if you ever saw it. We respected no, I you. Never, I never saw. We it. I think I played it for you uh, but, uh, when we first recorded it. But I don't think I heard. Do you want to give us your, uh, your account? How it happened? You don't mind? So we we started talking again, chatting. Um, I There's got some girl you used to know. Yeah, yeah, we we raved together uh, back in the day. A uh, loose connection. Let's point it out. <laughs> <laughs> five years, five years, five years. <laughs> it, it was. Um, it had been a while. It was a bit a while. It was a while. It was a while. Uh, but we went, we went uh, to the Van Gogh exhibit. If you've never been to that one. How was that? Oh, phenomenal. It was good. Yeah, was it yeah. big paintings? Yeah, it was good. It wasn't painting. So it's um, <laughs> it's basically like a prison cell, but like big. So it's all concrete almost with like lots of fucking, um, what do you call them, projectors, right? So it's a, yeah. bi it's a big room, but it's all concrete walls, right? All yeah. right. And there's like a tower in the, mid in the middle of the room so you can get a higher view. Um, but you basically just walk around and it plays like, I would say, maybe a 15, 20 minute video just of on like, it's a screen. So it's all motion and everything. And uh, it's just his best paintings. I I originally thought that. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, so I originally thought that his painting um, was the one with that. Uh, if you guys know it, Scream, where the guy's slapping his cheeks together. And yeah. One of those. And now the greatest painting I've ever seen, <laughs> other than the farm people. But his his paintings are like the ones where it's just kind of like farm. And it's like a family holding like a pitchfork. And it's like a farm I'm going to put it on screen. Oh, that's him? <laughs> that's him. That's oh, Van Gogh. Shit. The other guy, I forget what his name is. Do so you like him because he cut off his ear? Yeah, yeah, fucking ballsy shit, bro. Ballsy <laughs> shit, bro. Artists, man, people that like even Da Vinci, he fucking hate. Not Da Vinci, yeah, no, is it Da Vinci? Da Vinci was a uh, he. He didn't do paintings really. It was um Edward Munch, Leonardo Da Vinci. Cat, da Vinci. I thought, yeah. he, I thought I'm pretty sure he's a, he's a painter as well. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Yo, put put the that stand down a little bit. I want to see your face in there. Just there a little, just like, so you can see. Yeah, your face. so we went to the Van Gogh exhibit, and we originally were gonna go for uh, all you can eat sushi. 
uh, but we didn't really feel like sushi like that day, I guess. Uh, so we canceled those ones and we made a reservation. I wanted to do a rooftop patio, but it was all booked up in Toronto. It's very nice. The rooftop patios downtown. We went to we went to the Spring Rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we went to Jack Astor's. Those were that was mint, dude. Yeah, Looking yeah. over, it, oh, it's amazing. So yeah, we we go we uh, we find one place or Reddit and we're like, yeah, let's go. Like, I love Italian food, Italian myself, so it's great food. Um, so we go to there, we ate whatever, and then we're leaving and we're gonna cab back to Etobicoke and just go to a bar locally. And uh, some guy comes up to us and he's like, hey, we need two more people to get into the Lavelle. Um, do you want to come up with us? So I was like, I, I don't really like clubs. I fucking hate them. Um, so I was like, whatever. Like, you know, why not? Like, you know, the city's back open. COVID's kind of gone. It's, this is like what? Uh, no, like June. Maybe it was it June, I July. Was, I think it was yeah, June. Yeah. No, no, towards no, the end of it was summer. August. It was, towards, near, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was closer, August, closer to the end of the summer. It was the weekend that Keith uh, passed away. Hey, um so we fucking um what's it called where was it what's so yeah we go up and he's with um he's with a few chicks so we go up we went up with him we didn't have to pay anything and <laughs> we got up there and like i was drinking um but then uh, she saw some friends so she went off um and then some girl that we were with i don't know why she needed help talking to these two dudes uh so she had to help her and she was being like very whiny about it so it was whatever it's so, a random girl who's talking to you no it was, it was the girl that was in our friend in the group that we went with um, she wanted help talking to these uh, these guys uh, dressed in all white, uh, like you know you know the type polo, yeah, all white. You know what I mean? Fresh off yeah. the boat. Yeah. yeah, I remember at one point of the night I was with a group of people and he's uh, we're at their booth, and um, it was probably two forty, you no, know, like about closing time. But it, was, it was totally past last call, probably two twenty. So he's pointing at everyone in the group, and I didn't introduce myself because why the fuck do I want these guys to know my name? A um, bunch of losies. And uh, so he's pointing at everyone in the group and he's like, I'm buying you a shot, you a shot, you a shot, you a shot. He points to me. He's like, I don't know who the fuck you are. So I ain't buying you a shot. So then I'm like, oh, cool, cool, cool. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to get this guy. Good. So then once he finishes, I say, guys, guys, check it out. I'm buying you a condo. I'm buying you a condo. I'm buying you a condo. And he's laughing. You know, I was like, buddy, it's past last call. You could say anything you want, buddy, at this point. Like you ain't getting fucking shit. You think these guys are worried about losing their liquor license because you want to buy a girl a fucking shot, bud? Get out of here. Oh, uh, is that polo guy? Eh? Yeah. All right, bro. So guy. you went to a dinner that was, um, how much was the dinner? Dinner was about 500. And then how much did you spend at Loretta? Or, uh, sorry, level? Uh, probably, I would say three. No, no. Dinner was, I think, 600. And then the other thing was around 200. Um, the Van Gogh tickets were around 56 bucks a, or 60 bucks a piece. And then yeah, so like all in all, plus like Ubers and shit uh, down there. And then um, I didn't I didn't pay for the Uber home. She did, uh, but yeah, all in all, it was around like nine sixty a thousand bucks. Did you get roped into paying for the the club uh, bill? Yeah. So what happened? Like she wanted. Well, like I was drinking mostly, right? Because I was sitting there by myself, so I was ordering most of the drinks. But I did buy. Where the fuck did she go? She went like we weren't at, we weren't there long. We were there like I texted you as soon as we got there to try to get you up there. You but, called me at like one in the morning. I think. Yeah. So we were there till like two thirty. So I probably spent maybe like 30 minutes with her and then like she was off like with that other chick and then she saw some friends from university. But like, when, the, when the bill came around, nobody was around the table. It was just me. Majority of the stuff was, was well, not majority. All of this, the drinks were, were me. The other girls were going to table to table getting drinks from oh. dudes standard. Oh, so you bought drinks at Lavelle. I, yeah, I, I bought drinks okay. at Lavelle. I probably had four uh, gin and tonics. So I was sitting there by myself, right? Oh, and, I, okay, okay. and you know what they come in. They come in little fucking dentist cups. Yeah, yeah. Like what the hell are you supposed to do with those? Paying $12. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's bottom fucking uh, shit gin. And um, so, yeah, like it was mostly me drinking. I did buy the the, um, the other guy like two drinks. He said, oh, like I brought you up here. Bro, I didn't ask you to bring me up here, yeah, yeah. but I was just feeling nice. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> so then when the bill came around, it was a, the, the waiter was a girl, a guy she went to uh, high school, uh, college with that they were really good friends with. So I didn't want to look like a fucking stronza and like say like, yeah, go find pre to pay this three hundred dollar bill. No, yeah, as a guy, you got it. Yeah, you want yeah. To so like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but dude, three hundred bucks, Jay. Majority yeah, of it was on me though. I would never pay it. I, well, I don't. Majority think, of it was on. You? I I would say because oh, okay. I, I bought I brought Priya two drinks and I bought the the other uh, dude uh, two drinks. Yeah, and you know how many did you have for yourself? Probably like four or five. Wow, three hundred bucks though. Well, right? with a tip, you think like, each drink is about twelve yeah. bucks. Yeah. You, know you, know you tip twelve. Yeah, and I tip twenty percent. You're feeling it that night, eh? I fucking, you know, credit card called me, said, here's an extra fucking four grand. I said, fuck me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's dangerous. It's hey, man, if you had fun with it, fuck. <laughs> no, it, like, it was a good night. It's a and, good like, story. To this day, I'm still, like, fun, close man. friends with her. You know, I FaceTime her here and, uh, here and there. Like, we talk about work and well, everything. Well, you know what? Like, you took her on a date that, like, not a lot of guys are ever going to... 
maybe no other guy's gonna take her on. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like if that in itself establishes some type of connection. No. Yeah. I, I yeah. took a chick on a, a day two uh, two weeks after that in the cold check mm-hmm. when I when I just got my license, right? <laughs> I took a long, took a long. So I yeah, fuck. So I drove. I picked her up in Milton, bro. Scared shitless, you know. Um, I later I find out that I actually never got put on the insurance because my mom had a call instead. I worked there, but nah. my mom had a call instead of uh, instead of me just saying put me on the insurance. Yeah. Right. So I took that whole trip. If we I got like into an accident, there'd be no coverage. Whatever. So I take her out to my cousin's restaurant. That this was only two hundred dollars, and I did tip my cousin fifty bucks just because he was my cousin. I was just like, buddy, like go have fun tonight. You know what I mean? Go to the bar. Like he hooked me up there. But like that chick, we get home, you know, like uh, we hook up a bit and then she's like, um, I, uh, she Ubers home after that. She lives in Milton, right? She sees like a car accident, like happen like in front of her eyes. You know what I mean? Like crazy, crazy night she had. Uh, but yeah, she texts me later, like a couple days later. She's like, yeah, I think our vibes were off. She was four years younger, but she's like, oh, I think our vibe, our vibes were off. I was like, what the fuck does that even, you know? That's what, what she mean? said. Yeah. She's like, I think our vibes are off. What does that mean? Just to, just to defend everyone. When he says four years younger, he is 24. So she was 20. It's because yeah. you got to like legal about it. <laughs> you sick minded. fucks. Right? No, you yeah. see the world today, dude. You're crazy. Sick motherfuckers. They're starting to change the names in doctor offices uh, pamphlets when you have to fill it out, whatever. Like, um, your, your surname is. No. no surname. Or, sorry, they're not saying sibling. Or, sorry, they're not saying brother or, or mother or father. They're saying um, sibling or um, something, some general name. Parent. Sibling or parent. parent That's yeah. it, dude. And no Guardian. guy. No, they're taking guy and girl out of Oh, my God. Did you, uh, they're, did they're you see what they crazy. did? Yeah, Mr. Mr. Potato, Potato Head. He's gender That's neutral. another one. That's both. Fu- saying thank you. He thank has you. a wife, man. That's another one. He has, and he has a mustache. It's, it's, how, it's, it's Steve just, Harvey and potato, potato head. That's how it. do you rewrite what was there? Four Toy Stories. How do you rewrite them now? You have to make another four movies and just change all the wording yeah. and then come out no, release yeah. them again. Like gender new. Yeah. What is this can't. gender neutral no. shit? Listen, I support you guys hundred percent, but you're gonna take Mr. Potato Head from us. Come on, guys. You you can't you can't do that to animation that has already been out for like what twenty years and fifteen years now. Oh, it's they can one. they can because they do it to everything. Yeah, but like. There's there's proof in history. Like if you're trying to rewrite the history, there's proof right there in in, in Toy Story that yeah. it's Mr. Potato Head. He's got a wife. You got to make a new toy. You just got to call it Patats. You know what I mean? <laughs> make a new toy. Call it Patats. You know, maybe he had a kid. You know, you you, you just can't take Mr. <laughs> Potato Head. Take a stew shop. Potato Head. Potato you know? Head Junior. Yeah, like you have to. It has to be a new toy. You can't just use the same toy. That that toys in movies. You know, there's historic evidence proof. That's retarded. You know, you're just going to confuse your kids in the future. You know, you're watching Toy Story. He's like, what is that? No, dude, Why is he wearing a mustache? We're going to blend into one everything. It's You're going to be, dude, people are going to start fucking their fathers at one point. Because you know what? Hey, we ain't Alabama here. We've already hey, started go fucking. Go down to the south. Bro, doing that we ain't, we ain't Clemson roll tide. Think, no, that's what I'm trying to say. Because 100 years ago, it probably wasn't like this. But now they're banging the same sex. Now they're banging the same siblings. Or sorry, the same cross cousins. Now they're going to first cousins. It's so actually, they're probably going to siblings in some states. So we're going to mothers and fathers. It's actually a, back then. <laughs> we, were, uh, we were more, um, they would do that kind of shit. And then we kind of evolved. Because think, you'd, you'd have sex with like your like steps. Oh, yeah, sister, yeah. Because you don't know. Yeah, in Egypt, you know, and shit like that. Sure, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You'd like fuck your cousins. We've your constructed cousins. like the relationships of mother father. Yeah. You're not supposed to. Back then, there was none of that understanding. No, it was no, just no. like you fuck everything. You think you got to reproduce. That's it. Half the babies come out retarded. Don't make it. Darwin at work. <laughs> Literally, bro. <laughs> Darwin doing his thing. Still pumping, Dars. Darwin at work. <laughs> Couple retards. It's okay. It's okay. We got a place for them today. We got places for them. Back then, they were just no, yeah, they were shunned. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, they were, but like now we actually like help them. You know what I mean? They're they, they're in society. They're and it's great. What do you think about stoning? What witches? No, no, no people. people, people who just don't belong. That's that's pretty fucked. Up. Have you ever read the, um, the the short story in high school, The Lottery? No. Nope. Mm. So it's about everyone participating in this like yearly lottery. And you think it's like to win a prize or whatever. So at the end of the short story, you definitely read it in one of your classes. But at the end of the short story, the winner of the lottery, like everyone like wants like wants to uh, not win, basically. But the whole thing, you think that they want to win the lottery. But the winner of the lottery gets stoned and gets killed. So it's to keep population down. It's to keep really? like, resources down and everything. So it's a small village. And they have this lottery system where they draw a name. And that person's name, the whole town stones them. 
You know what I mean? And it's one a year. What is it's, it? It's every year, so it's the key just population. One per- that, just one person one a year. Person. It so must it's the not key be population a, a year. No, yeah, it's like a small village. You definitely read as a kid. I know. I don't think I have. It, you, it, it like, sounds very memorable. It's it's crazy. Yeah, like you should read. It's like it's you a short story. No, it's like no. three pages. It would come on a piece of paper. You'd have to read in class, answer questions on it. Oh no, Listen, those little I, ones. No. When it came to high school, I did the bare minimum. Yeah, what'd you do in high school? Nothing. I just fucking skipped did you class pass? and pasted and fucking pass things. Did you write tests? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it hard? No, I remember what was the one. Me and him were in, in accounting. With this bitch teacher, <laughs> oh, uh, Miss Guido. Miss Guido. Guido. I was in. I was in. I was in. Yeah, you were in that class. I was in that class. Yeah, you were. I didn't know John Luke was in that class. Yeah, I, was in that I class. ran that class, baby. I ran that class. Oh, Pass that thing with a strong I remember, twenty-seven. I remember me okay. and you. Me and you sat on the right side of the room. It was like two rows of yeah. long tables. Did John Luke sit on the left side there? There was some noise. I remember commotion. No, he sat. Me and Evan were in that class. Was it you that? Was it you we did the exam with, or is it Evan? Where like it was like a two part. It was like you. It was me. We did a, a party. Yeah, where we, and we, I, and I said we, we did sleeping it. shifts. Yeah, yeah, we we failed that thing completely. So when you write your name down, I think you wrote like Swamp Donkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Swamp Donkey. Yeah, the Swamp <laughs> Donkeys. <laughs> I was. Dying. I thought it was like a teamwork exercise. You know, it was like yeah. more team building than it was like an actual exam. You know, so I, I took the approach of just where it's like a team building. Like I'm gonna get to know the guy beside me more than the exam. You know? Yeah. yeah. And then then we took shifts because I was pretty tired. So I said, all right, you work for 20 minutes. Wake me up. I'll work for 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. You work for 20 minutes. You know what I mean? And we just don't check each other's work and we just hope for the best. We failed that exam hard. Hard, dude. Just looking at liabilities and assets. Listen, I'm a liability myself. So we needed a we needed a tutor. Yeah, I got one. Quincy. Quincy. I know. We were there. Bro, he was my tutor, too. Was he you don't remember being this together in this boat together? It's the first class we had to go. That and uh, entrepreneurship. entrepreneurship bro. Fucking friendship. Mr. Cesario. Bro, we fucking Threw failed that shit. That I had that that uh, partner, Simon Yeto. He was like a fucking alien looking guy, bro. He told Miss Guido one point, yeah, Matt's not pulling his way. Like, I Is can't that be- Simon Lee? No, oh, Simon Yeto. Simon. He was like, oh. you're older than us. Oh. And she like split us up. Like, dude, Simon, you did that. You did, did me dirty, bro. <laughs> <You> did <laughs> the dirty on, day. Like, That's fucking jokes. Did me dirty. No, oh, no. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say going off of um, you spending a thousand dollars on a date. And then listen, next week I spend two hundred bucks. Yeah. Two hundred. So okay. That's so if you, if you add the two totals, twelve hundred in a month. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. If you add the total, I spent twelve hundred in a single night going out. We went to Everly, and I was driving around with Ty, and Ty's like, "Do you want to go to the club tonight?" I go, "Sure." Just got the tax standard, return. Fucking got, standard. Got the tax return. We're buzzing. We're booling. So I'm like, "All right, let's go to let's go to um, Everly." Bring a bunch of people out. So we brought, like, it was like me, Ty, we brought out the boys, Katrin, her girls. I invited Vanessa when we were talking at the time. Not like that, but just chatting. And she brought Taylor. Like you know, you know Hutch. Hutch. You know Taylor, John Luke. You know Hutch, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll get into that. Mm-hmm. Um, So, yeah. So I remember I was like, yeah. So we're sitting there. We didn't get booth or bottles. We we're just sitting there drinking, having a good time. But then me getting lit, I'm like, fuck it. Who wants a drink? Let's everyone come to the bar right now. <laughs> you get a drink. Let's get a, you let's get get a drink. You get a drink. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I started buying drinks for everybody. The Martin Luth. Then, <laughs> you then have a dream. You have a dream. <laughs> you have a dream. So then um, Vanessa messaged me and she's like, hey, can you come to the front? Me and Taylor are out front, but we forgot. What was it? She's like, we have our IDs, but we forgot our wallets. Or they left their wallets in the Uber. Uh, I, it didn't make that's sense. That's not to a me. concern to them getting their wallet. Just like yeah, so it was like so they were like yeah we're at the front. They're like do you mind getting our cover? I go sure. So the cover was thirty bucks each. Jeez. So I paid for their cover. Get in the night. It got to the point I was buying people. Sorry, I was buying so many people drinks that night that like people were just walking up to me be like yo Jay you want to get a drink? I'd be like yeah sure I'm down. Would go to the bar, <laughs> order the drinks, and then they'd just sit there and just look at me and be like yeah okay I got oh, it yeah. yeah I got it yeah and then yeah just. Why am I oh. never around when we just abuse? It happens account? once. It yeah. literally happens once a year. Yeah, it's one night oh, it's a year. Nice. That it's usually down. around your birthday. It's usually on the birthday. That's usually. I, I need to stick beside Jalen for like his whole birthday week. You know, just in case one night he's like, "Fuck it, I'm spending a thousand dollars. Let's go somewhere." Yeah, right. You know? That's it. Yep. Let's go buy a fucking plane. No, I feel like at this point yeah, you'll be invited regardless. So. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll be there. Everything's be changed there. so much, though. Yeah, yeah. Changes by Tupac. Let me. <laughs> Let me tell you, dude, sitting down in Blue Mountain at a, in a restaurant with people. Guys, let me tell you, there's a veteran in the room right now. <laughs> His name is Jalen fucking Vetter, bro. We were up in Blue Mountain. We were we probably got to the mountain maybe 12 o'clock, maybe 11.45. And then we went like snowboarding until 9.30 p.m. And Jalen sat at Wild Wings like a grizzled veteran coming back from active duty <laughs> for nine hours. Yep. 
Sad we would come now. say hi every like three hours, you know, grab a pint, grab a gl- fucking gin and tonic. How many times did you guys come down? Once or maybe twice? three times. Really? Three times. Oh, okay, okay. Three times in nine hours. So like pretty good. <laughs> and he would just sit there. He probably watched what every sport that was on Sunday from a race car to like, you know, the Italian 500. Watch the Leafs game, watch the Capitals game, then started watching the Simpsons. <laughs> just watch it. I was just sitting there. You know, Judge Judy was on when he got there, though, you know, 12 a.m. The only thing that helped me get through it was uh, the bartender. She kept shooting it with me. So that was good. Yeah, was she cool? Yeah, she's chilling. She had uh, some nice tats too. Yeah, <laughs> is that from Alice in Wonderland? She goes, no, it's just the, it's just the, just the bunny. <laughs> Bro, it, it looked like the exact did, though, bunny from look, Alice in the Wonderland, did, and she's like, that. no, I have cartoon characters all over me. I'm like, from yeah, what? That's cool. You know, it has to be from Sleeping Beauty. Like, it has to be from oh, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, like you don't just like draw that. Like that's from a, like an, you know, what I mean, yeah. a cartoon or a Picture kids off book. The internet. Yeah, yeah, you know, what I'm saying, and it was the exact bunny. You know. She's one of the girls that I think goes in, opens up like you know the catalog they have, and just picked one. I do that. That's how I got this, bro. That's literally how I have this. That's literally. <laughs> I how apologize. I don't give a fuck. I love it's my favorite fucking tattoo. Done on a whim. I love. I like it. the dog fun. one at the back. Thank you. That one. That's that, a nice that one. one's a cool. I yeah, made that I like one. That one. Yeah, I like yeah, that yeah. one. Picked uh, the two main images and then um, kind of threw it all together on a little photo shoot app. I was like in Dominican, doing nothing one night, just yeah. chilling in the room by myself. I'm like, you know what? I want to get a tattoo on me. I'm on vacation. I really want to get a tattoo. And so I put together a little Photoshop app. You download it on yeah. your phone. Found one picture from the internet. Found a couple of pictures of like um, the, the sun, what yeah. they want it to look like. Put it together. A couple hours, like two, And you got hours. that done in Dominican. And then I woke too. up the next day, walked, go, can you do this? I'm like expecting, yeah, tomorrow, the next day. He goes, no, right now you want to sit down? I'm Holy. Like, All right, let's do it. Boom. Next thing I know, tattoos on my arm. <laughs> Did it, went to sleep, woke up, walked straight to the tattoo guy, showed it to him because I'm like, maybe I'll come back even later today. Yeah. No, right there, done. Within like oh, 12 man. hours. How much That's was it? Um, 150 bucks. And what, it was, was pretty that, expensive. Canadian? Yeah, it was Canadian. Oh, that, I, it was that, expensive. That, that's a standard but I didn't tattoo, a though. That's a standard tattoo. Yeah, exactly. You know yeah, yeah. Like that's what you're gonna pay. Because it's fifty dollars deposit. I think it was a hundred bucks actually. Bucks. Yeah, that's a, that's around what you're gonna pay here. Yes. It might be a little bit more just to get the like the, get the stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, because they take a deposit of like flat fifty dollars. That's why he asked me. Yeah, do you want me to, always starts Do you want me to re outline like Marcus because he was looking for like other stuff? Yeah, like, you know, I don't give a shit. I don't give a oh, shit. Oh, you actually gave him that business too. No, I didn't. I said I don't give a shit. Like, no, I don't want that. No, why would you, dude? This is like. It, you're gonna just fuck it up if you reline it. Yeah, I That's don't want to get my do. tattoos no, reline. Gonna, yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let them Makes get, no let them sense. be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I know people that get touch ups all the time. I'm like, unless you're rocking like a fucking, you know what I mean, an artwork. Yeah. You know, like it's a piece of art. You know, you, you don't you don't touch up a piece of yeah. art. You know what I'm saying? Bro, so I got uh, this one, this one first, shit. and then um, I got this one first. And then a week later, I got this one and then this one. <laughs> oh, so the other one you got in Dominican. I got all three, all three of these in Dominican. Yeah. The okay. So like, they, I, I mean, walking into a tattoo shop here and picking one. Oh, well, what's there, the there, they have more different kinds of art. They're more colorful and stuff. The other ones here are like, it was no bro. It was standard. a stand. It was a standard, like, like tattoo book. Like it had the oh, stencil okay, section. It okay, had like okay. the watercolor section, yeah, the yeah. animated section. I was just like, I'm like, this looks so nice. So, like I was in a nice sunny country. I'm like, you know, I, what is so, it? And it's, Bro, it's a mockingbird. You know what he said to me? So I, th- I, th- I, th- I showed him oh, two. Oh, I, I thought it was a fuck. It's like a rainbow. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's. A, you see it? <laughs> yeah, I can see it now. I can see the, the little woody. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'll woody show you two like uh, straight. <laughs> yeah. But I, I had like um, a blue raven in mind, like a blue jay yeah. with like so it was watercolor style, but it was like blue and red, like splattered, and it yeah. looked like more manly and and more masculine. And I showed him that first, and then I was he, he was like sizing it up, taking his time. I'm flipping through the book, taking my time. And I'm like, you know, I kind of like this one. It's more colorful. And I show it to him. He goes, oh, because he was Russian in yeah. Dominican, bro. He hardly spoke English, but he spoke some English. <laughs> he goes, oh, this one is better, you know? And yeah, goes, yeah. Oh, why, man? Like, I just want to know. That's like, like a Russian accent there. And he, yeah, yeah, I see. <laughs> and he goes, um, oh, it's just more manly. <laughs> it's more manly. <laughs> and I, go, I swear to God, I'm like, no, dude, I don't care. I actually like this one. He goes, okay, no problem. And he was so nice, helpful, but literally he was like, because dude, it's a Russian, like, yo, yeah. these, they get like burly tattoos. They're not getting this fucking oh, shit. Oh, it was actually a Russian. He was a Russian guy. Oh, bro. I thought you said no, he was no, Dominican No, guy. he was a Russian in Dominican. Oh, he, him oh, and his partner, he was the that's receptionist. That's why you're doing the accent. Exactly. He was the receptionist and his tattoo, uh, the guy who tattooed was, yeah. it was just two of them in a little building. 
nice little place, like clean, yeah. you know, had his stuff organized. I'm like, this guy like likes what he does. Yeah. The yeah. first guy was just like him, his kid was running around, his wife was fucking there, like soaking it up, like just in the it was just it, having a horror bath. Well, you, you know how you you know how you buy fucking like um trinkets when you go on vacation? Yeah. So in Dominion, it was like, like, like 20, booth. 30 shops in a row. One's like statues, one's paintings, one this. He was literally a tattoo. So it was one of those trinket shop tattoo places. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> no, it was sketch, bro. And then the next one where I got this one, it was nice, it was clean, it was good. So the, safe to say that this one was a little, I like this one better. It was a little difficult, more difficult, I think. That's it. I like the Russian accent there. That was good, eh? It's more manly, man. <laughs> manly. It's okay. This is, this is good, actually. Come on, buddy. All right, we're going to play a little game here. I'm going to say some one-liners for movies, shows, or things I've created, and you just have to say yes or no. All right. All right. I don't, I don't think I understand. Is it easy? It's just like, is that a good saying or not? It's okay. just like, these are from, it could be from Wedding Crashers. It could be just some shit we thought up when we were fucked up. Yes, no, or what? Just like, yes, that's a good saying, or like, yeah, cool, or oh, like, no, like, that's okay. fucking stupid. I'm going to oh. put all my eggs in the basket ahead of time and just say no to everything. No, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> all right, ready? Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, go, go. To the girl over the hill, if she won't, her sister, sister will. Here's her sister. Yeah, okay. Very, very, very there you go. The noblest art is that of making others happy. P.T. Barnum. I like yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I like that's it, the yeah. guy who made this circus. My that's name's Rudy. It. I'll steal your girl and I'll eat her booty. Is that for Rudd? That's for is Rudd? that Rudd? No, I saw that from a line. Yeah, or knee. Okay. I feel like if Rudy says it, yeah. Yeah. Sense, yeah. We're going fast with these. Chasing game without a guide leads one into the bush. Oh, don't get it. <laughs> Hickory dickory doc, it's time to suck my cock. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> I major in pussy with a double minor in, in ass and tits. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You can't mind fuck the mind fucker. Wow, okay. Yeah. Sedate him. <laughs> Dude, sedate him. You know where some guy's just acting out, you know, he's just a drunk idiot, you just yell, sedate the motherfucker. <laughs> sedate. Put him out. Okay. I've been through more skins than the average dermatologist. Did you comment that on one of my pictures? Yeah. Right. What does that mean? It's just like a dermatologist checks out, like, you know. Oh, you've been through more skins? Like yeah. condom wrappers? No, like fucking pussy. Pussy. No. <laughs> oh, <man>. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Uh, hey, same. Same. <laughs> well, I mean. Young, well, dumb, and full of cum. Oh, yeah, no, you said that one a couple of times. Yeah, that's a good one. Yo, like you're yelling in my head. Yeah, just a little bit. Jalen, the court jester. You just insert anyone's name. You know, if someone's acting like an idiot, you say like, you know, Brevetti, the court jester. Where do you get these from? I'm, just I'm lines honest. and shit. Yeah, but like from what? Just things we think of or like say when we're like chilling, I just write down. So things you think of or say. And just... <laughs> things that like other people might say it in it's front a, of it's me. It's a diary. And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the man in the boat. You know what that is? No, no. It's the you know the man in the boat, the pussy, the clit. The man in the boat is the clit. Wow, okay. Think oh, of a okay. boat and a man on the boat. Okay. A couple steps to get there. Okay. You remember in um, Friends when um, yep. Chandler starts that. smoking again, and then um, Gunther's like, "You can't smoke down in here," and he's like, "You want a drag?" And then he takes a drag. Oh, baby, sweet mama. Yeah, he says again, dark mother, I suckle at your smoky teat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is like best back character in, um, in Friends. Oh, 100 percent, bro. No, who? Gunther, I'm asking you. Gunther, it's Gunther. Best, Gunther. He's the best, he's the best Gunther. Gunther. Best character. I think. I think basically, I would say Ross, just because of his twitches and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was, I no, like, no, no. Moment there for a and when he just like, you know, when he gets pissed and shit, like he's hilarious. I would say, like they're all so perfectly yeah. picked. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's we'll we'll, good. we'll we'll move we'll slide to that okay, after. Okay. okay. We're really going to break that down after. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is back in the Italian I'll times. I'll shock it up here before we do. <laughs> they used to call girls that were like run around like a whore, basically. They would call them a run around Sue. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm planning a fishing trip. Trying to bring, bring some pussy with me. <laughs> the guy looks and goes, like, "Yeah, you know what I'm talking about." What? This one is uh, what Brevetti said one time in uh, the dance floor. Dance floor is crowded. <laughs> I wrote that one down. Come on, remember? Do you we, actually remember me yeah, saying that? Yeah, remember it's such a like standard line. Yeah, yeah, remember you were texting. I think it was Jalen or so. I forget the exact like thing that was going on, but you're like, and I said, "Dance floor is crowded," 
and I was just dead. <laughs> I said that or you said you that? You said that. You said I that. I was texting Jay. You are texting Jay or something. You are talking about like a night when you were at a, like a bar and you were Jay like... Jay wasn't there. No, I think you like nudged someone. You're like, dance floor is crowded, eh? It was like... It was Tamara's boyfriend when he was like no. went out to go dancing or something. It was like something Camilo? like that. Camilo? Hey, what night was this? I don't know what it was from, but maybe it's in your messages, but you're like... You, no, you, it's not. You hit some I guy. so many different phones. You nudge some guy and you're like, dance floor is crowded, eh? Like when he was like going to dance or like... I forget what it was. Come on. <laughs> I wrote it down. I completely believe something like that. I have zero memory. You just... I, I, you have to check. We'll talk about it after. Dude, there's no... But you're talking about now. There's no way that fucking... I have that message. You gave me that. Like we were sitting on your couch in the back there. I sent it to you? No, no. We were sitting on the couch and you were telling me a story. What doesn't happen in the club? Or a bar? You're like telling this me about so a night or something and we're sitting in the couch in the back room and you're like, so then I said, dance floor is crowded, eh? <laughs> and I was just dead. I, I like, recounted oh. it to you. Yeah, yeah. We were Bro, sitting maybe, I, for, I forget the exact story it's from, yeah, yeah. but you were telling me about a night you were with Jay, I feel maybe. like I remember this, bro. I think it was someone who went to the dance floor and then he, he was dancing or something like like very like, you know, with a lot of room. And then you're like, go to Jay and you like nudge him. And you're like, dance floor is crowded, eh? <laughs> like something like that. It was yeah. from a story, right? Who? This guy freaked out. And, hey, this guy freaked out when some dude touched his dick. What the fuck you mean? I don't want to fucking fight him. Oh, Lisa's boyfriend. Lisa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fucking weird, eh? Weird, dude. You're dude. I'm gonna guy. fucking kill this guy. He's like, why? Really? He touched my dick on the dance floor. I'm like, man, oh, dance floors are crowded. He's like, dude, I'm not to be a fuck. Like, you look kind of gay. <laughs> I can't remember. I wrote it down. Oh, man, like, there were so many funny. good moments back then. Yeah, that was a time. No, there were so many that funny moments, dude. All a... night, we those would be hilarious. The energy was always popping. Oh, it was going. It was going. Those were mint. All right, ready? Next one? Yeah. All right, when you're checking out a girl at a bar, like a 15 in blackjack, you don't know whether to hit it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Heard it, heard it. Got to educate the masses with tits and asses. You have a lot of these, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going if you're if you're talking to a talking to a Canadian check, you say, I'm gonna rock your body to Canada Day. Okay, that's how I met your mother. <laughs> we're, getting, we're, getting, yeah. we're getting real low on these entertainment value. Okay, here we go. I date a blow up doll because her mouth's always open, but she never says a word. Austin told me that one. <laughs> I feel like coming from Austin that would be funny. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> so if someone's talking out of their ass, you say Somehow you swallowed your vocal cords and they got lodged in your rectum because you're talking out of your ass. That's a good one. John, a good there's one. a lot of these, dude. Of these. You know what was a good one? You did yeah, your see. last um, picture you threw up. I think from Blue Mountain. You said, uh, and it was the line from Stomp the Yard. It was like, I already schooled you once, son. How many lessons do you want to yeah. learn? That was that's in my message. That's in my notes, too. That bud. was a bit. I like that one. That was a good one. These are, these, some Not of these more? get bad, though. Jesus, you're scrolling. Yeah, there's a lot. This I is the one it, I, I gave you it. when we went for sushi. Remember? Becky's Beware. We're back. I gave you that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I capped that one. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. Ty like commented that. like we never left, boy. <laughs> this one's good, too. Big Dick Daddy from Cincinnati. Is that from that song? Dick Down in Dallas? No. No? Okay. This is a good one, too. Lies are like stars. Is that they all the gin we've drank? Yeah, let's pour another one. Oh, I'm not even fucking finished. Yeah, I'm still. I'm kind of going back and forth here. Yeah, we gotta turn up a notch. You need to chug like two or three things, and I need to shotgun a beer. We need to like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm-hmm. Should we, we uh, also should we go live? I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. Let's do it live. Wait, wait, I was gonna say we gotta restart the audio. So uh, we'll see you in a second. Peace, brethren. No, that's, I think that's good. good. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, you're good. That's what's up. That's what's up. So sad. I hope to God everyone can hear. If not, I'll talk yeah, to you. no, we talked to B. He's good. Yeah, he's good. Anyways. He's not gonna bring sushi, is he? Now, <laughs> how you doing, John Luke? Adrian, I hope you know you're disappointing the fans in Tulsa, Is Oklahoma. Dev, Dev commented, said, you guys trying to figure it out or what? <laughs> no, I miss Dev, man. I fucking Dev, miss buddy, Dev, buddy, we miss bro. you, man. You got to get back out here one day, man. Fuck. Dude, back in the cottage, for, I was hanging out with him. He said, uh, we were working out, and he was like, now nah, we gotta get the cottage in in the summer. I'm like so happy to hear that. He said so happy we're still on board for another one of those. Yeah, yeah. need to get it going for sure. That was fully gin I just buddy. drank. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh yeah, that's brutal. Oh, it? Ooh. Is it straight gin? Yeah. Oh, I just poured it. Ooh. Ain't nobody but love. love me better. <laughs> yeah, this guy's trying to make me fucking puke on camera. I am. Have you been smoking your uh, pen there? 
Oh, it's just snowboards, have. what? Jay, get your head out of your ass. Oh, sorry, it's just snowboard. I know she's snowboard. Motherfuckers. Yo, you know Mars moved out? No. New. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you happened? didn't know that? No, what happened? Oh, yeah, she moved out. Oh, really? What happened? Uh, she got a job um, in Niagara, so she's moving back to Niagara. I saw her, like, moving, and I was like, what? Like, what happened? You moved to, like, a new place in downtown? She's like, no, I got a job in Niagara. I was like, fuck, congrats, girl. Oh. So what, Irving's just on her ones now? Kyrie's on her ones. Uh-oh. This is the roommate? Yeah, Mars. Uh, Mars, Bart. What's that? Who, what roommate was that? The one with the tats? The one with the tats? The, oh, the, the good-looking one. Yeah, yeah. What was her oh. name? Her name was Mars. No, it's... A- oh, my God. It's Marissa. 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 Yeah, yeah, but just no, her Instagram. She was cute. She was yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good looking. What do you guys rather have? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Would you... <laughs> Fuck. Would you rather have a girl with a cute face? Like, you know, a nice face to look at in the morning when you roll over to bed? Really or a girl with a rocking man? body? Ooh. Is it a long-term thing? <laughs> yeah. 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 You're dating the broad. You're the dating the broad at least fo- at least four years dating the broad. No. Yeah. That's the question. Oh, So it's either... So personality doesn't come into it. It's either a nice no, no. face or a nice body. Like a great looking face where like, you know what I mean? You roll you roll awake in the morning and you like, you know, like, oh, fuck. This day's going to be a piece of shit. You know, I got to go to work. And you see, you see that, you know what I mean? You see that face and you're like, you know, this day's not going to be that bad because I got to come home with that. Which one would you rather or, have? Or the body. Or, well. or she gets up out of bed and then, uh, you know, she pulls down her fucking robe or whatever. Victoria's Secret. You know, uh, what do you call that thing? The dress that they wear. A kimono. Wow. Uh, Is that then, what she's wearing? What, bro? You're telling Is me you're not, you're not buying your girlfriend me? a Victoria's Secret kimono to wake up to, bro? That's a doing? game changer. 100% game changer, bro. So you we're want... talking nice body, but not. Wait, 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 wait. No, let him, let him describe the kimono, please. Yeah, okay. So she, she pulls off the kimono, you know, rocking body. And you're like, I'm about to get in the shower with that thing. Or the girl with a cute face, average body. You know what I mean? She works out, but like, it's, it's not like a fucking uh, supermodel body. You know what I mean? It's, it's a nice body, but it's not like a. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she's walking by and you're with your construction buddies with a hard hat on. You know, you're just fucking cat call. So, does the girl with a face have no body? No, she has like a, you know, all right little tush. You know what I mean? Okay. A nice, then, like a, you know. But then, then the you get the girl. And the girl with the, with the nice body, what's, what's her like face a, like? It's like average. I think I would go with the, uh, average is fine. No, it's just like, you know, it's like. Average a, is fine. It's like a five face compared to an eight face. And then it's like a f- six body compared to, an, you know, a Did nine you body. Him? Yeah, so it's <laughs> you're saying she's got like a a body that's a nine, but her face is a five, yeah. or it's a face that's like a nine, but the body is a five. Yeah. Wow. Mm. A nine's really good on the body. I already know what uh, my, my thing is. I wanted to see if you guys can figure. I, it out. I want a face. I want a face. I'm going. Body. Face I'm going also. body. Yeah, body. it's a hard. It's okay. a toss up. I'm shallow. Like, this is I'm a, shallow. A, Fuck be- it. a beautiful face. This like is that. what it is. This is how it comes down to. So you're you now have a girl with a fucking beautiful face and an average body. You know what you do. You work out together, bro. You got that body that you want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you can't. That's, it's hard. That's where you're it's going hard to it, change eh? the face. You know, you can't. Like, plastic surgery is a lot expensive for the face. But, bro, you could throw a, you know, a pair of tits on that easy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, and then you could just work out with the chick. And it's a great yeah. fucking building exercise to be a couple. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather the girl with the cute face that I wake up to every morning. I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? Because you're talking to her most of the time. You're they like, got fu- face surgeries now, you know? Yeah, but like you're – basically the way I see you're only screwing the girl maybe – if, if, if it, really, on a good day, three times a day. Yeah, but if you really – You know what I mean? Three times a day, John luc <laughs> <laughs> If you're, if you're fucking three times a day, oh my god! Well, buddy, no, morning. No, no, no. Finish it. I'm good. I'm good. Don't you got? Uh, you got work. You got you know other stuff going on. On a good day, three times. No, like I'm saying. What's like, a bad day, bro? At this bro? point, What's you have a condo. I go on one week without it. It's beautiful. Um, Once I'm, a day is a saying, lot. Okay, you're living with this girl for like let's say four years. You know, day and the girl, you both have a condo together. You know, you wake up in the morning, you fuck. You Do know, you like P Diddy. Come on, sure. Talking. <laughs> okay. No, I I, I didn't <laughs> yeah. get the reference. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's the song by Kesha. Wake up in the morning feeling oh, like Oh yeah, P-Diddy. yeah, shit, shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, where the fuck is Kesha, bro? She's been absolute. Gone. Probably rehab, honestly. Down Probably it, rehab. Um, yeah. Well, fuck. Now you got me off track, dog. Yeah, there you go. Sorry. Just uh, see his face. You fucking know? Douglas. They want to see your face. Okay, yeah. So you wake up in the morning, <laughs> you, you fuck her. You know what I'm saying? And then basically, if you're still working from home, you're, you're probably screwing four or five times a day. Uh, but if you're not working from home, <laughs> you, get, <laughs> you get home from work, you screw. And then, you know what I mean? You make dinner together, you watch a movie. And then after the movie, you screw and you go to bed. And then you wake up and you do it again. Bro, the first thing you do when you get home from work is screw, eh? 
Well, you gotta screw. Do up you your think problems. that would make you like happy always to go home from work? Or do you think somebody's be like, I don't want to fucking screw? No, no. Do you think? Dude, like, or do you home? think you'd be like, oh, I'm about to get sex. Bro, Fuck whatever give me bullshit. Two, happens give me two today. hours. Let me watch my ball. Ready, be ready. Let me the, eat my dinner. That's kind of where I'm at. The Leafs play at least twice a week, so two times a week I can't screw like after four dinner. Four times a week, dude. Oh, okay, so then this girl has to wait till the Leaf <laughs> game's over. So you're only screwing twice that day. You just fuck like. So you're going pre dinner and post dinner. Well, yeah, it's like the same as smoking. Dude. I'm always pre-coiled back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can you, over, can you overlap the two, like Venn diagram style? Sex and smoking occur at the same time? I almost I almost failed that class. So I don't think I can make you a Venn what diagram. What class, bro, math? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, There's no. There's like eight classes. <laughs> um, what do you call it when you make uh, graphs? On, not Word. Um, Excel? Not Excel. Excel spreadsheets. PowerPoint? PowerPoint. Oh, no, no Excel. Not PowerPoint. Excel. It has to be Excel. Excel. It has to be Excel. Excel. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Excel. It's Excel. But those are spreadsheets. Yeah, no, but you can make pie, you can make pie charts. You can make fucking Venn diagrams. Pie charts, that was my shit. Yeah, man. just fucking. Yeah, it's a fucking Jay, circle, Jalen. Big down again. Double circle, Jay. It's a circle. <laughs> we going low. Just turn. The, just, <laughs> lift the, just lift the mic up. No, it's it, you just can hear the, you perfectly. Yeah, you're good. This is like the most good looking person we've had on here. Easy. Had, you got other people that are on the podcast. It may take we, offense. We had hasted. Yeah, that guy's built like a fucking tank. It's like a fucking panzer walking around the streets. Uh, here big we go. guy. I showed up uh, because uh, Shapuris hadn't seen him in a while, right? So Shapuris is like, oh, like, it's hasted. You, you keep mentioning him. Like, what is what he? What are you uh, saying? Because he, he met him at one point. Right? Yeah, he met him at one point. He's like, oh, like, you still hang out with him? Hold like, on, yeah, hold yeah, on. I, I can't hear. I can't. Hold on, hold on. So I'm like, oh, this is hasted. And he's like, man, this guy's a Sorry, fucking you machine. He's say like, again? like, what does this what guy do? Like, he's built like a fucking machine. Why did he see him? Sorry. I was, uh, he saw him like maybe like in high school or yeah, something. I like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we crossed. But he has he s- has he seen him yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I showed him his Instagram, <laughs> and I'm like like his fitness page off with because he looks like a beast in that. And I was like, yeah, bro, like. And he's like, Yo. man, this guy is built like a machine. <laughs> Ty says like, three times is is rookie numbers. Three times, <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> These guys didn't even believe it <laughs> once a day, bro. Oh man. Bit of man. Dude, right? ask him how he fits it in. How do you fit it in, bud? Three a, three a more day. More than three a day. That's a workout. That's hard. Get out of here. Get out of here. Love out. that. Too much. Love too that. Much, right? Buddy, it's a it's the vertical stretch. Yeah, it sounds good. Oh, you see this fight, buddy. Oh now now he wants to smoke the tobacco, eh? No. Ty so fucking goes I Ty goes just, Ty goes, how are you gonna go live and say ask questions? You haven't looked at the camera once. I go, yeah, Ty said I'll answer him in the third yeah. segment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Love you, buddy. Why don't you grab it and check the, the questions? No, we will we will we'll answer in the third segment. Well, you could scroll through the comments, I imagine, once you end it, end a lot. I ain't done yeah. shit. Well, you just say, you know, you got to watch the third segment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there's a lot of shit happening, for sure. There's a lot of cup stuff coming in, so. You want to you wanna know if fucking Because the way? fucking volume works this time. <laughs> right? The last time it didn't work. Didn't work. Last time. Now you can You want to know a mint way to take out the panouche with it when you're, like, hooking up with a chick already? So if you're already, like, making out with her, fucking doing your thing, whatever. I don't know how we switch so quick. Is this gonna be the dick piercing thing? No, no, yeah. come on, come on, come yeah. on. Why so you gotta ruin it? Sorry. It, it, it works best if she has a piercing. So you say to the chick, like, let's say she has a nip piercing, whatever. So you say to the chick, you say, oh, like, you, you have a nip piercing, that you did that hurt? And, like, you ask questions, you know, you gotta get into it, get a feeling. And then you say, yeah, like, when I had my, like, cock pierced recently, like, fucking hurt like a son of a bitch. And she goes, like, actually, like, th- at this point, you're already, like, making out with her, you're in bed or whatever, you know? And then she goes, actually, like, can I see it, you know? So you say, yeah, yeah, but, like, the hole might have closed, you know? So, like, you're ready. You, you pull out the hammer to show her, and then, because they're so interesting. <laughs> it's, it's, it's something they've never seen, you know what I mean? How often, like, when a, the first time a girl said, I had my nipple pierced, were you, like, Bro, you Please told me this me in the see. car. I thought you were going to talk about something where you actually got your cock pierced. I'm thinking, that's fucking no, nobody no. does that. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's what I'm a, saying. You, you, a chick, you go up to a chick at a bar, let's say, well, like, that's kind of forward. Yeah. But, yeah. like, you know, you're talking yeah. to a chick and you're like, yeah, I had my cock pierced. In today's before. world, man. Bro, people would be would jump on that like a fucking fish on a worm. When you're, like, on a date, you know, yeah. you settled the date. Yeah, out, exactly. you're, back at the, you're just chat. Exactly, bro. They, Does it, that work? Because it's so like it's so out of the blue. Not many people. I don't know a single person that has their te- like their wiener or testicle. No, pierced. no. I, well, how you would it mean? look for real? I had to search exactly. it just to find out, to be honest. But oh. it's crazy shit. There's it's like, like there's like the ten fu- of them. Oh. No, there's like ten of them. Like some of the names for is them. Is it like is just like, around like the the skin? Because one, so one of them is like a bull. It's like whoom, you know, it's coming at you, bro. Like, <laughs> Through? Yeah, no, no, it's like it's under the wang, and it's just like a little hook. And the other one is like oh, like a like a dude. bee through at the t- at the top. I was like, bro, this is nuts. And then one of them is like Come a bar and shit. It was crazy shit. You know, I, I'm like, bro, if you walk into a tattoo or piercing shop and you're ready to fucking put your fucking wang on that table and be like, pierce that shit, bro, I tip my hat to you. 
I tip oh, my half. Oh, dude. You know what I mean? Even some... nipple piercings when girls do it, I'm like, I don't but know. But that's if like I could a gun. That. That's a gun. Like a wiener piercing. It ain't no fucking pistol. Oh, you know what I mean? That's by oh, hand. Dude. It's like he's threading oh, the needle at that like point. It's like skin that just shouldn't be fucking pierced. It's too thin, man. You can't do it. Jay, don't worry about it, buddy. No, no. I'm just uh, seeing if I can look you at watch it. Look no, at, no, no. Just look to. at the the oh, questions the as they come up. But if, if you sign in, yeah, you can't yeah, see yeah, it, so. yeah. Why are you yeah. signing in? Your account's already on the. Phone. No, 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 no. I'm you would just you would just look at it from like John Luke's um, account. Oh would, well, yeah, but you can't see what they've been asking because he just technically he just joined the live, so he can't see older yeah. questions. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Where did we get derailed here? Yeah, I don't know. yeah, but yo, try that out one time, and like, you know what I mean? They'll be like, "Yo, let me see." Yeah, yeah. No, it sounds like hundred percent, bro, hundred percent. And I rate Paul and Austin for that that time that I tried out that line. I just, I just literally made it up on the spot, and like they waited in the car for about an hour. They went to the bar, just came pick me up. It was like three in the morning, you know, on like a fucking Tuesday. What are we talking about? What happened? Oh, no, I'm not going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying where the line Jay, went. Oh, this is good. Let's finish this, buddy. Should we, should we take a look and then answer one? Or? No. Just leave it to the let, next let segment. Let it hit for a bit. Yeah. Let's hang out. Yeah. Do you need people to tell you what to do, or do you just... <laughs> well, we got to get into the, no, the free no. will debate again. And where's my Veep? Yeah, here. Where's my VPN? Where did you stand on that? What? Where did you stand on the free will? <coughs> Fuck. I believe like the only free will that you didn't have is the pregnancy. You know, that's about that. That was the only choice you did not make in your life. If you get unplanned, what do you mean? If a girl gets pregnant, like, no, like, you like being, being born, born, you being born oh. is the only choice you a hundred percent had no involvement. In. But everything else, you 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 choose to do. I would say going to school and stuff like you don't choose to do that. But at, at, again, you as a like your parents put you in school. But again, if you want to be you a could fucking, say fuck off though, you could you could like, technically wow. just leave. You could technically leave if you want to. But you're there's other pe- there's other plays that factor that factor into your decision of should I stay at school? That's true. You know, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I could see like a, you know there may be like one person in that class of like a hundred kids that that leaves. And just says, I don't want to go in school at, at grade three. And just like, you know, it's a problem for that kid to go to school. But as a kid, once you get older, though, I believe that like free will opens up for you. As yeah. a kid, obviously, you don't decide to eat meat. You know, your parents might feed you meat. You know, yeah. that no decision of your own because you don't know what the. But once you. Okay, like, so you know, why would your parents feed you meat then? Let's take it a step further. Maybe they're making meat that day. Okay, so. Why did they had a choice between what meat, chicken, fish? Meat, yeah, but that's no your vegetables. parent. That's your parent's choice. You as a child. Didn't no, no, have no. A but like that's you. the fact that those three or four uh, types of proteins are the most readily available ones. So like, yeah, like you're about to eat steak, chicken, uh, or pro steak, chicken, or fish, or something. Oh, like so that. you're but that's because as that's a human what the, race do we have? Free no, I'm just well, I'm just gonna like take it back. So we have only a couple options of why we're gonna have steak for dinner there. Why is that? Because that's all the the, the market. Yeah, the, chicken, uh, grocery, poultry, yeah, okay. vegetables, so, or steak. So yeah. maybe your mom went to the store and bought the steak because it was on sale, not yeah. because she was deciding to have steak or chicken. So that influenced her to be like, I'm going to buy the steak. Now she's coming home, she's making you steak dinner, and so you're saying you don't have a choice, but your mother didn't have a choice either to give you the steak because it was just easier maybe, you know, one day you're having it. But that's her choice. No, but it's not. Her choice is to either pay more money and get the expensive steak or get the steak on sale. They, yeah, but they make her, a decision. So now she doesn't want to spend money on an expensive steak. So that, that's or, just her being influenced to buy a certain products. Okay, but so let me just let me just say. So she's gonna buy chicken or she's gonna be steak, steak over chicken. That's her choice. But maybe the reason why she bought steak is because she's um, has more money. She has a good job and she has a higher bank account. So she's like, you know, I don't mind spending like yeah. thirty, forty, fifty. So those bucks. are her reading her factors that play into the decision. But that's what process. I mean, right? So now let's go. Like, how did she get a job that pays well? You know, did she choose to have that job? She did. Yes. Well, if we're talking about my mother, she did, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But like, maybe that's because you know somebody goes to school for a specific talent and then falls into that sector because they start to learn about that particular yeah. job they get into. So now it's because they took that degree in school that kind of led them down the path to understand a little bit more about whatever job this is, yeah. and that's why they chose that. So now you go, why did they go to school? Like, did they get to choose what electives they picked? To a certain point, yes. Okay, so you're in high school, right? And you get to choose your electives. I don't know if you remember grade eleven yeah, yeah. or twelve. Yeah, you got chose electives. Did yeah. you Did you know much about any electives? Yeah, I, I read. I read into them, or even let's just say in college, you take electives. Yeah, I read. I read into the ones I wanted to take. Yeah. yeah. So why do you think you wanted to take one of those electives? Because the certain certain paths I took through uh, through life led me to wanting to take or learn more about those classes. Like I would take uh, when I was at 
Humber, I would take a marketing class. Yeah. Because I just like marketing. I could sell anything to anyone. So why do, I mean? why do you think you like like marketing and talking to people? Because I'm uh, what you call it an extrovert. Extrovert. Yeah. So naturally, you probably just grew up like being very extroverted, and you're talking to people, and so that made you think that I'm actually pretty good at this. You get some positive emotion from it because like you're chatting people, and they're giving you good vibes, and you're talking yeah. back. You're like I feel good talking to people. Like you're a very outgoing guy. Imagine yeah, yeah. It stems from that. So now you think maybe I'm good at marketing because somebody tells you, man, you're a really good speaker. You're like ah oh, fuck, maybe I would go market. I would be good. Or I'm trash at speaking. <laughs> well. Making, like to a group make, of making connections, let's say then. Yeah, yeah. All right, so why are you a good speaker growing up? I could just fucking, you know, take a room. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, kind of like how Hitty did and just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> no, like whenever we would play like um, sports in elementary, I would always be, Thanks, team, I would always be team captain, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like whenever we play sports, it'd either be me or like Quentin or something, I'd be like, you know, team captain. Right, so I just, I just took I just took on the role as a kid, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And so maybe you and Quentin were team captain because in the schoolyard you. Guys oh, were... he wasn't a team captain because I'd have to pick him for my team. Okay, so, so you were a team captain. Team, so maybe you were liked captain. amongst a lot of your peers that made them think, you know, this guy would be good like picking. Being no, they're they're like this guy knows what the fuck he's doing. Exactly you know right. <laughs> so your your extrovertness and like acting like not acting but like fitting in very well and being like somebody who's who's liked and sought after allowed you to be captain, right? Well, acting is just reacting. <laughs> it's just reacting to the situation in front of you. Yeah. No, yeah, but where do we start with? We'll debate this at another time. No, I mean this is the best time to debate it. The debacle begins. Oh, I don't. Know. It sounded like we were ending it, but yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I I just think people have free will when they get to a certain age because like, yeah. like your parents can't really play that much of a crucial role. Like when you're a baby, you know what I mean? Yeah. Your your parents might feed you pea food. You know, yeah. you might like orange, but you'll never know until you actually try an orange. The fuck is pea oh, food? So, you know, like baby food, like baby. pea, pea peas, flavored. Peas? Yeah. Pea, yeah. You know, like baby pea. food. Baby yeah. formula. Baby. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or your parents might say, like, when you're born, to say you have no gender. Yeah. You know what I mean? You didn't choose that decision. So, no, that's... And I do. I completely agree with you. Like, the baby, I would even maybe argue, like, from your side of you, like, has less of a decision in it than when you get to, like, your age, my age, yeah. when you're able to, like, decide what you want to do today. But, like... The argument that I'm arguing, I'm trying to make anyways, because like the two arguments that we have here are like the most popular arguments, and I'm not saying mine's right, just the way I look at it. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying that like maybe because you're so young and you don't have control over your own decisions that that means you don't have free will, and then you get it when you're older. I'm saying free will, whether you're a baby or not, is not determined by any single human's choice. It's just the external factors that exist and go on around us that influence you know, what we're going to have for dinner today or what we're going to name our I child. I get that, yeah. So, like, it's not... Because I understand what you're saying with the younger kid. Like, he doesn't have free will because yeah. it's a baby. You don't remember making decisions as a kid. You remember just kind of reacting to no, stuff. No, yeah. I, I agree with you to a certain degree where 100% all of those play into a fact. But, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, free will is just you taking all those factors and you personally making the final decision yeah. weighing all the you know what i mean the, the factors that might influence your decision from either past experiences or you know what i mean past situations that have taught you to choose a certain way or how you were raised or things Bro. you saw in pop culture that will influence the decision i'm saying the, the exact end, same thing yeah that's in exactly end, what your i'm choice. saying yeah no i'm the thing is you're just the only part where we differ is that you're saying at the very end of all of those taking all of those factors into consideration you get to finally choose I'm saying even that choice is just oh, those factors predetermined because those factors are so um, strong on you yeah. that like you have such a so minimal option on you, right? Like you know you wouldn't eat goat because it's just not available to you. No, you I have to that. go back to this example. But. but like if I wanted to realistically like you know make a decision like let's say your parents say like you have to leave, I could either fight them, I could either leave, or I could just you know what I mean and and my and the okay. whole situation right there is. Okay, yeah, so I mean, now that's so a good I example. Have the final destination. So like you, some your my parents want you to leave, and now you can either argue them and say I don't want to leave. You can say, oh yeah, no problem, and leave. Or is there? Can we go another option? You just end your life right there. Oh, you just end your life right there. That's what I mean. That's so like three decisions. Well, Fight, if my if, if my parents like came up to you and like said, you know, John, like, we need you to leave. Like, what do you? Think I meant say? you yourself as a son. Me, I, I would just oh, okay, say I would okay, just say okay, yes because okay, I'm okay, respectful. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying, so say, like, it again, my, say it again. So if it was my house, you know, and my parents said you need to leave our house right now. Yeah, it's yeah. either I fight them and I say, you know, I try to plead my case. Yeah. I leave that room. I leave the house. Pack my bags. Leave the house, or I just end my situation right there. Pff, done. Yeah. Okay. Those are so, your three options. So basically. end your situation right there, unless you have a gun or a means to do that. You're not doing that. 
correct? In your house, you have a knife. You could just quickly. Okay. Okay. Fine. So like access to like being wanting to like die by knife fucking slice. But I I just mean like, you know, free will is those are your three options yes. basically right there. Now you have no. your option to choose which one. So okay. That's okay. So like, I'm saying like, so let's go with the end of your life argument. So we have a gunshot to the head, a knife slice to the throat, or a noose, right? No, no, three ways to end your life, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's more likely in your house? If you don't own a registered gun license, you don't have a gun, you know, and you don't have a fucking big piece of rope or like a place to hang a line around, and you want to end your life, maybe you have even pills bought. It goes, okay, pills or a knife, you know? It's just whatever is accessible to you. Why yeah, do you have yeah. the pills? Oh, I don't know. Maybe fucking... I just okay, have like I a get lot it, of medicine. I get it, I get it, yeah. So even like that decision. Okay. So Those now are predetermined factors. So yeah. now you You're have choosing one. Now you, you don't want to end your life. You want to take the other two options. So it's either leave respect or uh, yeah, leave the house when your parents ask you to kick you out or, or stay. Right. Maybe like you don't want to leave because you don't have any place to go. Yeah. Nobody wants to house you. Or maybe it's like, well, you know, it's fucking cold as shit outside. And like, where am I going to actually go? Like I yeah, can, if yeah. it's summer, I can maybe just sleep on the bench for a couple of days. Cool. off, yeah. come back. But then that's already judged by the weather that's outside. That's judged by the exactly, weather outside. Do you yeah. know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, even down to that decision of, like, okay, well, I have three options when somebody tells me to leave. But, like, maybe you don't want to leave because you're like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I don't have the confidence to even leave. Yeah. Or maybe you want to leave. You're so fucking mad because, like, you're like, I don't need anybody. Like, these people are pissing me off. And I, like, I'm just going to storm out because you're so mad that day. Or, like we said, maybe the weather's shit. You yeah. want to leave. We should we should do it. Put up a vote. Put up a vote. Do you believe, <laughs> do you believe in free will? Yeah. I'd like if, to see. If you can hear it, I like to see. We would love to hear. I love to see. Man, I like hearing the argument. Man, I just have, yeah. Because I, I believe I there's always predetermined way. factors, but at the end of the day, you're gonna like it's the hu it's the individual himself that is choosing the situation exactly. that is best best suited for himself. You know what I'm saying? Like you might have all these factors that are pushing you in a certain direction, but at one point I could just say fuck that like i'm just gonna do this one you know it's like it's like picking a lottery number you know what i mean you might like 24 might be calling so, out to you but you would just say you know fuck that i'm not listening to that i'm just gonna pick 12 yeah. when everything in your body is telling you you could easily trick your brain in, into any situation you know what i mean but like i don't know yeah it's just like there's so many minor decisions and so many like millions of them that happen every day they're so small you don't even notice them it's like why you just agreed to pick up your beer bottle there because you were just talking for 20 seconds and now you finish and you're just like there's a nice pause you were taking a break yeah. it's like all these things happen without us consciously knowing it right so it's like you can even look at it that way like if you're not even consciously aware of half of our majority of the decisions you make on a daily basis, like yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that was fucking ridiculous. On like a second to second basis. Like how are you going to say that you're deciding? They're just happening to you. Yeah, 100% agree. You know. And that's why they're still to this day studying the brain because it's so complex. Think how quick it is for you to make a decision. You like, you yeah, know, yeah. Milliseconds. Reaction. You ever like react yeah. to something? You're like, dude, I'm Spider Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Milliseconds for your brain to work that speeds. And then you fucking throw a Skittle in a monkey fucking cage. You know, they just pick up, look <laughs> at it. You know, I've done that at the zoo, bro. I've, I've started a fight in a monkey cage when we were like grade 12. <laughs> so I was walking around with a pack of Skittles, right? And I walked past, like, I don't know if it was baboons or like, you know what I mean? Like some like, you know, spider monkeys. I don't know what the breed was. Yeah. So just eating a Skittle, I, I don't know how it happened. I think I went to pop one in my mouth and it fell on the floor. So I was like, fuck. So I just like, you know what I mean? Went to go flick it and went in the cage. And then like one monkey like runs to it, you know, picks it up, and like looks at it. You know what I mean? And then another <laughs> monkey just comes and fucking smacks him. You know, smacks it out of his hand, like hits him a little bit, picks it up. You know what I mean? It's like Smeagol, like in Lord of the Rings with the ring, you know, one ring to rule them. You know what I mean? That kind of shit right talking to himself <laughs> so these guys are like fighting and then one monkey finally like pushes the other one like and he rolls a bit and the other monkey picks up the skittle and he puts it in his mouth and he <laughs> spits it out you know what i mean and then he picks it up again <laughs> and he and then he spits it out and throws it right because it was too sour for him bro funniest experience i've ever had like at the zoo bro throw a fucking skittle in a monkey tank and like you just see them go buck wild you know what i'm oh. saying and also the penguins. Penguins at the Toronto Zoo have to check them out. Just I'm gonna cash out on this last beer. Do you mind? Hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. You guys want we another drink? Live. You wanna check it? Yeah. We got. We're halfway through. We have a whole. I haven't heard minutes. Jay in this segment, so I want. Yeah, no. I'll let you guys go on at it. I want. I want a Peter Piper your oh, ear, it's bud. It's cold. It's a nice cold. Dude, one. you get out of the. Did you buy the LCBO? Where did it come from? No, he went right down to fucking Deutschland and he picked it right out of the fucking fridge there. We can just end it. Let's uh, recoup it. Grab it. And then uh, read through them. You know what I mean? I, I want to. Are you sure? Yeah. No, just keep it on live. Just read them. Oh, yeah, just read them. 
No, I'll bring them to you. bring the phone to you. Why don't I join the chat? I can't see previous messages. No, okay. You can't see previous. Yeah, no, yeah, if you end it, if you yo, end you it, see it that, loses, you eh? see that little, shit with yeah. Takashi? How he's calling out Chicago rappers? Yeah, yeah, I guess fuck. Bro, I can't wait to wake up and I see this fucking article. This guy's been fucking bare bone dead. Not to wish any harm on anyone. Um, hello. Do you so want to mix it? Out. Yeah, I gotta read these here. Is there a way to like take a picture of it so we can recoup, see what we're gonna answer, and then go back live? It's like working with Elon Jay? Musk over here. Um, yeah, you know I mean, like screenshot it, like screenshot whatever the question is. Who's yeah, this? Like, what the fuck is John Jay? One thing at a time, just questions, Jay, bro. Buddy. We'll yeah, do, yeah, we'll sorry, do the sorry. rest later. Jay didn't take his uh, medication this morning, fellas. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Jolly, you get it, buddy. <laughs> Seriously, ECC bro. said, "What are your opinions of past, present, and the future?" All right, put it ETC, down. buddy. My 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 future. I hope it holds a fucking twelve piece of sushi from uh, Joey's, or else I'm gonna come over there and fucking <laughs> have a goddamn fit in that goddamn Jay, Jay, kitchen. Put it up. We'll answer that, and yeah, we'll go yeah. through the rest. <laughs> Adrian, if I don't see twelve pieces of a uh, unagi, yeah, set it up. Nice. I'll get yeah. real rattled, cat. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it looks good. And don't fucking uh, the what do you call the, well, you call like, the green stuff? Yeah. Not wasabi. Yeah, it's wasabi. The green stuff. Yeah. Don't don't no skimp on it, don't skimp fine. on the wasabi, bro. It's okay. It's good. Here, Jay. Fuck it, dude. Who cares? Yeah. Yo, can you get a, a tonic water from over there? You know, I feel like no, not a lot of people use Instagram anymore. I know. No, Instagram's... Well, they're all, they're all, they're the way I see it, Snapchat, when you add a girl on Snapchat. So it goes, Snapchat is like what like your daily life is. Yeah. Instagram is like your best moments of life. And that's the way I see it. And then text it, message. So basically... Instagram is people's best moments of life. Yeah. It's like exactly what they want to show you in like their prime state. You know what I mean? Like, you know, snowboarding or like, you know, going to the Copacabana. Yeah. You know what I mean? Going to like Mardi this Gras. This is Instagram. Like, this is Instagram. Okay, it's okay. like their best moments of life. Yeah. Yeah. Snapchat is like your daily life. Like, you know, walking your pooch, uh, like, you know, making a five star meal at your house, uh, maybe watching the Leaf game. And then text messages, like, you know, where you like really get into someone's like head, like, to, like what they're thinking, like how they text, like, you know what I mean? Like if they text with emojis, are they more like feelings or like if they text with just, you know, no emoji, no feelings. So that's the way I see it. So if you want to add a girl and get to know someone properly, Snapchat is the best thing because it's, it's videos, you know, text like messages. Snapchat. Yeah. Text messages. You can't really understand because it's oh, just, a, a, you know what I mean? It's I like text. Snapchat. Snapchat is just I like, like the, I'm going for a Being able to see the face is nice. And it's just the most truthful form of like connecting, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Because it's just you could see that it's like FaceTiming, but you can't FaceTime all the time. So like sending a Snapchat of you walking your dog or like you know at a cool restaurant, it's like showing me what you're doing right now. Yeah. I mean, uh, Instagram would be like your plate or like you looking like you're like taking 20 photos and looking your absolute Ooh. best. Where Snapchat is in the moment, you know, it's a Snapchat. Do you ever uh, you ever go on like a hike or anything? Any place where like outdoors? I have to uh, Laura query. Do you ever like bring your phone? I do. How do you feel about that? I do just to listen to music uh, for yeah. hiking. You know, do you ever like, like post like pictures walk. of like being on hikes or anything like that? I, a beauti- of nature, a, a you beautiful see landscapes. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I do. Yeah, because yeah, I want other people Snapchat to, to see because like it, it sells the outdoors. You know, so people, so many people are focused on indoors that just you want to sell like, look where I am. Yeah. Like, you know, what I mean, you should check this place out, yeah. right? Because whenever people, I think post that's a big it, thing. I think you want like, especially you send it to people that you know would like it. It's yeah, like, it's like you know, because like how many times have you been appreciate this? Yeah, how many times have you been hiking? I message like, where is that? Yeah, yeah, because I want to know because I want to visit that place. Yeah, yeah. Mead. I don't really often post, so but a couple of times I have as well. Yeah. Like a nice, like you're over in an escarpment. It's like yeah, so yeah. Many... Like you see nice trees yeah. or like a nice view of the yeah, city. Yeah. It's like I want to see that because it's like I want to check that place out. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, I want to be in that moment. But like when you send me a picture of like dancing at the club, it's just like okay, claustrophobia. People, swe- <laughs> you know what I mean? People sweating all over me, bro. Like I'm about to have a fucking seizure with these lights. You know, I'd rather see a picture of you canoeing or like skate. You know, the videos that get me the best is like BC or like you know like a nice like glass looking lake where they're just skating. You could just see like it's like glass. You know, what I mean, it's like being on the CN Tower and looking down like on that fucking glass plate. Those are the most satisfying videos you could ever watch. It's like I want to be there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to be in a club fucking you know. You know, sweating up on some shit. You know what I mean? I want to be outdoors, like, you know what I mean? Snowboarding and whistling. Yeah. You know, going to fucking Aspen and renting a 10 grand cottage and just like, like think I'm in Beverly fucking Hills. Why do you share stuff on Snapchat? Sorry? Why do you share stuff on Snapchat? Fix be a the pimp Fix the fucking microphone. daddy. <coughs> oh, um, I don't know. Just to. I don't, I don't say I don't know. Just nights out and. Because you've always done it. I've always done always, it. Always, always. For me, it's I do it a lot. To um, I got a lot of memories from nights out. Yeah. yeah. So even in, in the past week, I think I sent Hasted like like four days in a row of just memories from shit, and I just do it just because it's like nice to see, 
you know, when some when so there's so much social media. Yeah, there's a lot of social media going on. It's stressing me out. Honestly. Um, when um, like we're just hanging out, guys. Yeah, yeah we're chilling. Guys, come on. Turn it up it. When uh, uh, yeah, it's just like it, it'll be it'll be out, you know. Yeah. So, so it'd be like from uh, so like nights out, and then it just like to have the memories. You can just send it back to. Yeah, yeah. People or whatever. Also, just at the time, I just you I do the like, things on Snapchat where it's like uh, memories from one year ago. Yeah, and I always send those people. I, I, love, I don't know I how it's saved on mine though. It doesn't I can come never up. Save mine. It doesn't come up. No. I had you know it was February twenty second. I don't think a couple I saved days it to ago. Snapchat. That's why I had memories from. It was, it was a big day, February twenty second. I had memories from. So last year on that day, me and Hayshead and Devin, all of us went to a rave. Two years ago, I had a memory from the same day. I was at a party at Kook's house. Three years ago on that same day, I had a memory at Money's house. And then four years ago on that day, we were out at the bar at the Maddie with like Ty and Rudd and yeah, yeah, Regan. Just Christ. like I had memories from four years ago. Was, was it like this. a birthdays or something? It wasn't birthdays. birthdays. It was just nights out. Yeah, we were yeah, just yeah. to go out, right? February 22nd was a big day at your calendar. A big right? day, right? Just and when, when I see those, I literally just send them off to people. And yeah. everyone just sees them. Like, oh, my God. This, you know? That's funny that like so many memories took place on the same day. Same day. It's yeah, crazy. I mean, four without, years. Without four years in a row. Yeah. Without you even knowing, it's just like that day was just something about that. Because like it could have been a Tuesday. Yes, One year. Yes, it could have been yes, a Thursday. Yes, yeah. Another, yeah. yeah, but you know it's something about that's why I yeah, asked. It was a birthday. About, yeah, it could have been someone's birthday. Yeah, or right. Or it's just like fuck it. Like I got a paycheck or something. You know, maybe it was when your tax return came in. No, hey, too, early, too, early, too, early, too early. Too early. Too early. Too early. Yeah. Too you got early. a key on anybody? Yeah. yeah. A key to his heart. I've been holding this. Didn't want to shock him. I gotta do. Yeah. What happens if I have to yizzert? Do I just quickly run? Yizzert. We keep going. Yeah. Me and Jake can do something. Yeah. Um, so we have uh, B's question. B's question. What is your um, thoughts on past, present, present and future? future? That's it. That's it. A- any other questions? There's, I can look. I didn't yeah, yeah, look, 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 yeah. Look. We'll, we'll look. remember a couple of them. Yeah, yeah. Past, present, future. And we got. I'll write them down. Ty, take a shot, fellas. Going. Okay, wait. Look, I'm gonna do this. Ready? Past, present, future. Take a shot, Ty. What else? Let's take a shot. Uh, and he said, what the fuck? Who mm-hmm. said that? Yeah, Jonesy said, nipple piercings don't hurt. All right. And then Jewel said, if you could have dinner with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? Oh, blessed. Okay, perfect. All right, That's a good question. That's it. And then everything else is people fucking That's all right. laughing and shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, everyone's just dying. You really? Faded. Oh, Shire, shit. What's good, man? Devin, Devin said, oh, Is anybody Devin's watching? He's not figuring it out. Is anybody watching? No, I just wanted to see. Sorry. B, B, what's good? B's watching. Who's that? Felicia. Oh, Felicia. Yeah. What the? No, no, John, John Luke, we're not John, doing we're this. Not doing too no, much. no, no. Oh, Guys, there's already so much stuff going yeah, on. Like, we all, we're filled. Yeah, yeah. This guy wants to go double live. Come on. I'm ordering sushi in two hours. Is that another one? Yeah, I'll move it down. Whatever. You pitching? No, no I don't want sushi, dude. Yeah, We're okay. hanging out. You pitching? Fucking playing poker uh, and shit. Yo, could you be this bitch I, won't pitch on sushi? <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm talking like unagi. We got some, you know, I'm not, salmon spring rolls. I'm not hungry, dude. I, I, I had these. Salmon skin rolls. <laughs> yeah, you pitching? For what? Sushi? I'm sushi. Good. I'm good. Yeah, 100% you're pitching. I'm I good. lost it. It already popped. All right. Yo, I thought you were shotgunning. I boy. Know. Boy. I don't know what happened, bro. Ba ba! I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Is the dog, do you guys hear the dog barking? No. I hear him crying. Jesus. John, like, bro, get the fuck off your phone. <laughs> bro, I'm watching Full Send. <laughs> I don't have my shock on this. Yeah, you see, like, uh, yeah, you see Takashi69 talking shit about, like, the Chicago rappers? Yeah, that's right. Oh, this guy's going to get fucking killed. Bro, he sent a picture of, um,. So you, I don't know if you know the rapper from Chicago, King Von. Yeah, Dirk yeah, Cullen. yeah. He sent a picture of uh, so King Von died. King Von died, obviously. He sent a picture of King Von's dead body to his own sister. Well, That's he, fucked. He up. was fucking with Little Reese. You remember Little Reese? The, yeah, yeah. Grim Reaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, he, bro, he was calling him out, bro. Like I, Takashi Six Nine. Whenever people play his songs around me, I fucking. What do I say? Turn that shit off. Turn that shit off, bro. Paul tried to play that in my fucking house. I told him to leave and go home. Oh, you don't like him? I fucking hate him. Since day one, someone sent me a music video, and I was like, bro, this guy looks like the biggest loser I've ever fucking seen. 
hate him ever since. And it wasn't even like uh, like when he snitched. I hate I hate him from day one. Jay knows I've hated that guy from day one. I'm not no fake. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I hated him from day one. Like before, all this I, bro. I wish I could call all out the fakes. Stuff came out. Yeah, I wish I could call out fakes. Like I could call out marketplace because I'd be rich. But I call that guy as a fake bitch from a fucking moment one, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I, I if like I could play man. the market like I could call bitches out, like fucking, I would be a millionaire. Yeah. Yeah, Bianca said finally that we're recording again. <laughs> right, we'll Number look, one supporter. Look at that, dude. Number one support. No, that was on Snapchat. Just Thank you. I have to sh- I have to shoot it because it didn't work out. It didn't get the hole. In the yeah, so like what happened there? Uh, yeah, was, uh, you just disappointed the fans in Tulsa. In yeah, uh, yeah. Germany and in uh, Sweden. No. All right, past, pre- past, I, I, pre- our present, past, future, whatever. We're not in, we're not in sector three, we'll are we? Ask it. No, no, that was just one of the questions. Oh yeah, shoot, shoot. Well, you want it? Yeah. Yeah, so, I, uh, I want this fucking future. heat. I ain't no gulag bitch. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I don't know the context behind it. No, no, like, it was free will with it. Uh, okay, question was, um, what are your thoughts on past, present, past, present and future? future? Um, what do you think, John Luke? Under our current government, I don't even want to know what the future's like, but I can tell you right now, your grandkids will be paying taxes through the roof. <laughs> I can tell you that yeah. right quick. Like, your parents, our parents, are like, you know what I mean? Like, they're, like, basically, let, let's just say, like, majority of our parents are retiring in, what, five years? Maybe four? Okay. Maybe three? Yeah, they're blessed, okay? Why? why? They're not paying a lot of taxes because they're not working. They're taking in the, um, what is it, um, the retirement fund, uh, OAS, or uh, what's the other one? forget what the other one is uh but they're they're not paying taxes where people think like yeah we're getting all this money and by all means abuse it you know what i mean take the fourteen thousand out and serve the, take the crb like the liberals are so stupid with spending that like you're getting free money yeah. throw that in the market are you, make are money you collecting it as well oh i'm collecting 100 percent, bro throw it in Jerry, the market you're collecting it yeah they yeah, say no, fifty yeah. cents on the dollar i say thank you no yeah, sorry i'm on the thank now. you bro it's not it's not 50 cents on the dollar Bro, if you to only, pay it back, if oh, you have no, to pay no, it only, back. Yeah, oh, exactly. Only yeah. if you earn more than $35,000 in a year. No, yeah, yeah. But if you have to pay it back, it's 50 cents oh, to the dollar, which have. is like, buddy, if, 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 if I walk I into a TD to or any bank or yeah. any major bank and they give me that loan where I take out $900, 10% tax to $1,000, 10% tax to 900 and they say, you have to give us $450, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you in a couple no, months. It just makes sense. You know what I mean? You throw that in like even bro, a bank stock. People use, you yeah. know what I mean? A safe stock. It goes up four bucks. Let's say you, you're already getting a dividend for what a year, yeah. and they'll they'll probably they're already trying to scrap the CRB payments. Now they're going to scrap the CRB probably after that when we sign enough petitions. Like, bro, brutal abuse the system. You know what I mean? Make yourself rich off the liberal people, fairliers. People were saying that shit when I was getting, um, like student loans for to go to school. Oh. Like why yo, why are you getting a student loan like if you because don't need to pay? Because it's free it? fucking money. Bro, because it's like basically sixty to seventy percent grant, which is money you don't have to pay back. Yeah. And thirty to forty percent um a loan, which you absolutely have to pay back. But it's like you're getting more but than yo, 50% what, what are of the a grant. what are the interest rates when you have to pay it back in how many years? I'll tell you right now, bro. I have a seventeen thousand dollar student loan, has to be paid over ten years. There you go. But the interest rate right now, is it what? amortizes at like 3% a year. Yeah. So the calculation is if I paid off, which is $200 a month for 10 years, yeah. I'm only accruing $5,000 in interest. Disgusting. Dude, like over 10 years. On, on everyone's like basically like credit card, you pay interest of 29.99% usually. Yes. Usually standard. And he's paying what? 3%? 3%, yeah. There you go. That's called abuse of the government and yeah. you have to do it if you can. <laughs> Dude, fuck the govy. <laughs> the liberal government. No, they're all they're, they're all fucking stupid, but you go conservative. Now, when Jay told me uh, we were all just chilling in mind, I was like, no, man, just you don't have to qualify or anything. You just literally collect it. Look, look at how easy these answers are. Yeah. Three, four questions, like whatever was reduction in salary. Have you ever stolen money. candy from a baby? Because that's what it is like applying for these applications. Another dude, another simple, point he met, which makes simple, a lot of sense. Simple uh, town. Another point he made, which makes a lot of sense, is he goes, listen. The government's going to when start re-expecting all of this money from us. Like, they're proficiently just going to do it. It's like yeah. two years down the line. Yeah. By then, bro, the money would have worked for you. It should yeah. have worked for exactly. you. Exactly. If you invested it right like, and you did right with it, dude. it's going to work for you. And then, like, they're going to ask you a couple, like, they're going to, I don't know how hard they're going to police it, man. Like, 
or we're going to go do research into every single person who receives yeah. this. That's how they create jobs. They ah. create a fucking major problem, the liberals. And then yeah. they say, we just created thousands of jobs to fix our, our other error. Yeah. And it's just, just like, wow, fuck, I, <laughs> I could do that. I could burn down my house and hire 20 people to fucking rebuild the thing. That's called fucking economics right there. Bro, a lot of people wish their house would get burned down because they get more money from the insurance to rebuild it how they want. I'm in uh, the insurance industry, so thank you very much for just taking a shit on that. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not anything against the insurance people. You. Lie. Insurance people lie all the time. Yeah. You, you'll see. Do you you'll catch them? You'll, no, it's so hard to with like with petty shit. So like your house burns down, and you say, "Yeah, so I had about four fucking MacBook Pros, all 2020s." And you have to give it to them. No, yeah, well, you just, you, we ask you and we say, like, what do you okay. have? So you could be like, yeah, I had about a, a $3,000 Canon fucking camera from, like, 1920. That was, like, a real good one. Like, we have to believe you. And you guys take it, at, yeah, face value. Well, no, no, certain items you need to uh, actually have, like, uh, like someone write off to say this is the value for, like, coin collection, stamp collections, things like that. But if you were to say I had two MacBook Pros and you only had one, like, like that kind of shit, like, it, they can't really, you know what I mean, get into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay, look at Jalen yeah, taking yeah. fucking calls. I was calls. gonna say, dude, so, yeah, dude, this, yo, this point, guy's, I don't know. <laughs> Jalen is like, you'll see him walk around with an AirPod it's, in it's constantly. Riggy. It's Riggy calling me. I gotta answer this. One. Yeah, Riggy. Yeah, like, he's he's podcast, trying to justify like, him huh? being a fucking dick to all the fans. Um, Who are you so, with? Like, anyways, bro, we can chat. So, so basically, what Jalen does oh, is he has his uh, AirPods yeah, in constantly, either to listen to his own music or so he could take calls like he's a business. Yeah, I would too. He thinks he's like a like you know like um. What do you call it? Like a Book of Mormon. You know what I mean? He's like a Mormon. Yo, have you have Bible. you read Art of War? Uh, I have, yes. I So I just listened to the audiobook. It's only like three hours long. It's a short book, right? So this motherfucker yeah. listens to the audio I don't, and he can't bro, read? I don't have it. I was at the cottage. I have okay? the book. No, but listen, I was at the cottage and I was like, I need something to run to. So I scrolled through Audible's like recommended. Yeah, yeah. Is this on Google uh, Play or? No, Audible. Oh, okay, okay. So it was like a three hour book, Art of War. I'm like, yo, I remember seeing this at John Luke Chess and he always recommended it. So yeah. I'm like. This is Did perfect. you do the uh, the translated version where it's just like each of the, the emperors saying what they are? They're no, like, no, it's one is. guy, really good speaker, um, who uh, just reads like a already translated book. But does he, because how the art of war is, like how my book is, it'll say like Sun Tzu. Yeah, Sun Tzu. Uh, it'll say his like thing and then it'll say all the emperors and then what they, what they interpreted the saying as. No. Okay, no, so I'll give you mine. It. Mine's about 200 I'll look pages. At it. Yeah. But yo, I've listened to it three times already. It's good. It's, it's good. good. No, it's, it's, great. it's so peaceful. It's like, one one rule, the next rule, and you're just yeah. running. It's like it's so peaceful. Oh, okay, dude. you have to read the one I because it's, it's different interpretations how they do it. Because some of them do it war, some of them do it as business. Because you could use art of war in relationships, in business pursuits, in like literally war. But I don't think any of us fuckers are going to war. We're gonna be a, at least like commander of war, like. Jay will probably be the guy that just fucking, you know what I mean? Like, get shot in Normandy or whatever. You know, <laughs> me and you will probably be running and get, like, I'll get fucking shot in probably, the head. I'll probably get shot. We'll probably get shot know. in the leg, scream, and then just a fucking, you know, yeah. like RPG comes in. But yeah, you have to read my fucking version of it. But it is a great book. You could use it in any, any situation. They have an Italian version called The Prince. And it's basically, oh, really? I haven't finished it yet. I'm on page like six. Yeah. In the past like seven months. <laughs> so it's a slow read for me but it's basically like a guy becoming like emperor and then he loses all his power because he fucked up so it's him telling you how to stay in power like things to do to stay in power how to be humble and kind of shit like that it's the same thing as art of war but it's italian yeah it's called the prince by um not leonardo da vinci he ain't no writer no, I don't. research Jalen, hop in for a comment yeah how you doing jay Joke. Can I try the uh, philosophers? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and before the lottery is a short story written by Shirley Jackson, first published in 1948. That's about the uh, getting killed. Is uh, what did Riggy want? <laughs> Rigworm. He's with Ace and Laura. <laughs> Perfect. Didn't I tell you? Yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. They're literally just driving around right now, so. That's uh, okay. We're filming yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. I said 10:30. So these people want us to stop filming our podcast because they're bored with their lives. It's just a lot. It was just a lot going on, you know. Just a lot. Going okay, on. let's just let's just point fingers and just look at Jalen right now for a second because he slept Why? in. No, it's up. <clears throat> you I look like into like you look into the windows of my soul. I like to sleep. Yeah, because he's fucking pulling that midnight shift on his fucking pastrom. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> Game seven. Oh, there's something different about the floss, buddy. Buddy, the Virginia that's, tobacco uh, is that's my straw shit. Nana. Yo, can straw you text? Dana? Straw Nana. Straw Nana. Can you text Riggy and tell me to pick me up some pods? Yeah, Who are they driving around with? Jason. 
Ah oh, shit, he ain't stopping for nothing but a fucking no, pregnancy. Dude, so the fact that Hayes had left his house to oh, go get Riggy was. We get to go walk. Are you gonna walk no. with me? Sure, man. Yo, you heard well, it Ty's, here first. Ty's gonna be your You can just have him drive you. Come on. No, Yo, dude, we can all bundle up. Go la- for a little last walk. Time, come yeah, back. I'm down to go quickly because yeah, I yeah. could use some fucking pods. I don't want to smoke on this fucking banana peel shit. No, I, I wanted it. I don't want you to smoke on the banana. <laughs> I, don't <even> tell you. <laughs> I don't know if banana means you're fucking wang or fucking the flavor. Jay, buddy, you want to crush this one? Definitely the flavor. I pour you a drink and you no. do that in front of me? Let, I want Jay to chug something. I, I want to get drunk, Jay. Huh? Yeah, let's get for the third segment. Let's just get hanging out with us. But I want to answer the rest of the questions. We will. I have them. I have them written down. I have them written down. I got Look at you, little fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got them. Guys, this is why you take English classes. This guy could write like a fucking wizard. The last question is, Felicia. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? Say, guten Tag, and you? No one's, no one's watching, so we're good. Perfect. You want me to go on my live? See if I could fucking no, drum up some... No, dude. Uh... It's like, dude. It's fun, but fuck, man. Like, oh, okay. So you it wanna... makes everybody think listen, about listen, so many listen, other things. Listen, you want to know what Brian texted me in fucking uh, sure Blue Mountain? TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this shit Definitely out. Definitely at some point. Watch. How do you do this? I'm talking to some chick from California right now. Why? How'd you meet her? She was just snowboarding blue and I asked her how the hills were. Oh, she's from California at Blue Mountain. She's going to school here at UFT. Oh. For economics. So so this guy messages me at 2.04 p.m. This is Sunday, Jalen. I'm over snowboarding. Dude, I, I know this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he says, are you back yet, bro? So I posted a story of me snowboarding at Blue Mountain at two, like at like one thirty. I says, I say, does it look like I'm back? Like seriously, like does it fucking look like I'm back? If I'm posted a story twenty minutes ago in Blue Mountain <laughs> that I'm fucking snowboarding with the fucking date on it, like like honestly, in your opinion, does it fucking look like I'm back? He says, I have no idea where to look to tell, bro. There's a fucking date stamp and a time on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just just ridiculousness. So then I post a story, I don't know of what, uh, maybe the next morning, actually, of, of me and Emma snowboarding. He says, at 1043, now are you back? I said, does it look like I'm back now? And he says, yeah. And I say, and he says, let me know if you're down for shinny. I said, got to work. He says, well, that's supposed to make me feel. I said, bro, you're you're entitled to interpret that in any way you feel fit. You know what I mean? And he goes, what's up? You know what I mean? That kid is no, the most he's, weird motherfucker. He's just... Uh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy, but... He is. I think he's just looking for a friend, honestly. I don't think he has a lot of them. You ever hear the Which Toy Story song? Fine, like, where, dude, where it's, I got a friend in me. Man, I like hanging out with him. Like, <laughs> Remember when he cooked that bloody steak for us? And, yeah. I, and you forced me to eat that? No, I force you to eat that. I said, bro, I like my steak well done. I know how you like your this steak. Thing There's is, no way I force you to eat this steak. This thing is bleeding like a fu- like you shot an know, arrow into a pig. I know. You know I know mean? exactly what you're talking about. At yeah, our house. Bro. At my house, right? No, no, it was at, it was at Brendan's house. It was at, Bre- it was at his sister's house. It was at Brian's house? Yeah, yeah. And fucking this thing is bleeding like a fucking, you know what I mean? Like a, like a pig, you know, squealing on my plate. And I'm eating this thing. Every time I take a, take a bite of this thing, because you know I like my steak well done. Every time yeah, I take a bite of my steak, like, I'm like... Like just spitting out blood, bro. Like it was disgusting. I had to drink a glass of water every sip I did and just swallowed it whole. I didn't even chew it, bro. It was like a barbarian. Barbarian. I can't. I can't take my fucking meat bloody. The way I think of it, man, is like you're eating another animal. So yeah. It's like I don't you're want that. Always thing. eating another fucking animal. Though. But I don't want that thing bleeding on my plate, bro. I that get, thing I get bleeding sick. did it. You know what I mean? Like if I see yeah, someone like bleeding slumish. out, bro, I get sick. Like I puke, bro. I can't see blood. So like if if there's a steak bleeding on my plate. I can't deal with that shit. All right. We got to restart the audio. Really? For one more segment. What do you guys think? Yeah. All right. See you in a second. Has already been used up waiting for the drug. So by the time you actually do your first line, you're just re-upping your dopamine that you already lost. So the whole time after that first line, you're chasing that for that feeling, but you won't get that feeling because the whole feeling was in the chase for the drug. So I found, a th- I, I, and he said, you have to think about it like this. When you do your first line, what's going to happen next? And then and then you keep going to the puzzle. You're going to hang out. You're going to feel happy. You're going to talk, but then you're going to go into your own place, and then you're going to want to go home, and then you're going to be up till 5 a.m. You have to do the whole puzzle, where the puzzle is going to go at the end of the night. And then when you get to that stage, you're like, why would I even want to do this at this point? And I thought of that. I'm like, man, that is the best way to describe it. 
You know what I mean? Because the whole anticipation of it's coming, and then after you do your first line, you're like, okay, I want to do another one. Or you're like, I talk to you for five minutes, you tell me your story, then I'm like, yo, can we do another one? Can we do another one? Yeah. Because like, I'm chasing that feeling of the anticipation of the actual f- drug getting there. The, the, the addiction isn't the actual drug itself. It's the, you know what I mean? You waiting for the thing. That's where you're using all your dopamine, waiting for the actual drug to get there. And as soon as you do it, you've already lost so much dopamine, getting yourself excited for that feeling to come. That, that first line is just upping your dopamine to the level it's supposed to be at. So then the whole time you're trying to chase the feeling of when you were you know, waiting for the drug or when your first line happened. But your first line was just bringing you to the exact same spot where your dopamine should have been. And I was like, holy fuck. I was like, bro. You know what I mean? Anytime I think of doing Yen, I'm just going to think, like, where is this going to take me tonight? Yeah, like, you ha- have you ever been about to do Yen or you were planning to do Yen and then, like, the bag didn't come and you just weren't able to do it? Like, yeah, what, and I was just depressed. Like, I was like, oh, my God, like, you know, all this anticipation. And I just couldn't get it. Like, you know what I mean? I was See, I don't, I don't get that, though. What do you get? That's not I don't, addiction mine, yet for you. Yeah, mine's just like, if it's not coming, I just go to sleep. Can you get me another uh, thing, Tom? Yeah, Tom. Yeah, I go to sleep, but it's just yeah. like, you know, the whole time, like, man, like, I really, you know. Can you get me two more tonics? Yeah. But just There's the way one right Austin, here, eh? the way, give me oh, one yeah. then, give me one. Yeah. You need two? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I should be good. Okay. But it just never, the, it never, so it never, like, if you, if you're not, if you're trying to get it, you want to get it and it doesn't come, you're good. I'm good. That's fine. If, if I realize if it's not going to come, then it's like, it's whatever. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, yeah. it works out in the better for me. What about like when you're out you, partying? Though? You like, probably trained your ba- brain better then. Well, yeah. yeah. Even when I'm out partying, I, I, my whole mindset is, you know what? If it's not coming at the end of the day, it's going to be better for me. So yeah. I kind of just Im- embed that in my head and it's like, okay, that's fine. I, I just like, I'll do it, do. but like, I'm okay if it doesn't. I'm okay if it yeah, doesn't come. Yeah. If it comes, it comes. You're not if at that stage. So, but like, okay, so then. there's definitely been a couple of times I've seen you when you were like really drunk, like, I need it, like, more. That's different. Like, if you're so, trying to sober I'm, down, that's what I'm that's so that's if we're out and I'm hammered and I know that if I don't get this, I'm going to be in the washroom yakking. And yeah. a prime example, yeah. prime example <laughs> of, of this was when we went to... Are we live? Oh, we've been live. We've been oh, live. Yeah. shit. We went to uh, Brazai for Sam's birthday. And I didn't even ask for a bag. Yeah, so yeah. Just yeah. Of, Stop, it was, uh, shout out Sam. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. Like so, my cousin, eh? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant fucking... No, yeah. not Gonzi. Yeah, okay, but yeah. shout out Gonzi too, man. Great dude. <laughs> Great dude. Um, that, yeah, that night, not even though I was looking for a bag that night, but I just drank so much at the pre when like the meets came and all that. When I got to the club, I was literally like in. I couldn't even. I was literally in the toilet, and Hasted can vouch this too. I was in the toilet, and he said it literally looked like we the devil witness. was coming out of me. Like I just kept yakking uncontrollably, consistently. So that would be an example for one of the nights. One of those nights where if I had a bag, it would be to sober me up. But because I didn't have one, and again, I wasn't even looking for it that night. All I wanted to do was go home and just lay yeah. in my bed and just fucking yeah, sleep. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I did. Just got the Uber, went straight home, knocked out in bed. So it's just when I'm really, really fucked up, just yeah, yeah. for me to be able to still socialize and be out and stuff, yeah. then it just to kind of sober me up. That's when I, I so, like I need it. But like you never do it like on a regular weekday. Only like when something's happening. Like you don't need it. I don't just like so, some, I mean, there's sometimes where we go if I go to his house and we're having a couple of beers watching. But you're the doing game. something like you're hanging out with something. Yeah, but like yeah. you're not just like at home. You're like, oh, I need to like sharpen it up before I can like watch some TV. No, and no that's no, gonna no. be more fun. Because no, no, when you I, get to that stage, bro, like that's what I think that when people get to that stage, yeah. that's when it's like. Yeah, that's for me. That's when it's just like, I I wouldn't be able to do that because like even when I do it and you probably like, know too like even if you're by yourself and you get a bag and you do it, you just. Yes, you, you just dude like my, I'm not texting. Well, I mean, I mess with some people. You feel like a no. fucking loser. Yes, yeah, I, yeah. I, I there's that. nothing yeah, yeah. to bounce off. You feel like you're a not doing anything. Yeah. It's it now. It's it's two in the morning. You're I'm in your sitting, head. You know, yeah, it's like yeah, yeah you're yeah, in yeah. your head. You're, you're like your yeah, head like why the it. fuck did I do this? Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like you know, and then you wake up in the morning and all the texts you said from the night before. You're like, bro, like what the fuck was I? Yeah, I must have like looked like such a fucking idiot, bro. And you see like all people unfollow you. It's just like yeah, I could fucking see why, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like you get right in your fucking head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's why I feel like it's like a Xanax at this point. Like it makes you fucking stupid. You know what I mean? I can't. I can't do Xanax anymore. Bro, I think it's no. a, dude a lot of the situation. Like when you're with your friends, that shit's not happening. It's because like you did a bag and maybe the the night ended and you're like a little bit more high and you're bored. You're like going on your phone. Like I need some attention. I'm gonna yeah, text yeah, all this you're shit. Searching, you're, you're searching. trying to get yeah, something. Yeah. You know I what I mean? It, yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But, like, if you're out with your friends and you're doing a bag, like, those are good nights. Those are good memories, you know? It's, it's the minute you leave your friends when you go home after the it's night's It's being done. bored, bro. Like, it's like, I'm not, I don't, I'm not content, like, leaving my friends going home. I wanted to watch this movie. I'm going to hang out with myself. It's like, no, like, I don't know. I, you know, leave, leaving a party, going by by myself, like, oh, I need a party. I need a party. I need to somebody to, like, keep yeah, talking yeah. to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, that, well, the thing, and that's the thing with me, too. You know what I'm saying? I, that's the thing with me. Is is I, I don't is. do that. It's never, like, 
Yeah, oh, let you, me, let me, no, let me, yeah. No, 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 you no, wake no, no. Up, no. You wake up in the morning and you're like, man, look at all these texts I sent. No, no, no. I'm talking about like getting a bag and like going home. Like, oh, let me watch a movie. I don't do that. If yeah, I'm getting no, a bag yeah, on my once, yeah. bro, I'm in my can, bed yeah. and I'm just on my phone for the yeah, next four or five yeah, hours. Yeah, That's yeah, all it is. Yeah, I got 100%. no. T- I'm sitting in darkness. And nothing's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing's yeah. going on. I don't know if it's even. I like. I have a smart light, so I, I put that shit on blue. You know, what yeah, I mean, blue, the lowest yeah. setting. Dude, I just sit in and darkness. I just, I just, I just buzz like Jake Muzz. Yeah, no, dude. <laughs> I'll, I'll literally, dude. I'll just literally just sit buzz. in darkness and just fucking just hands like this, just on my bed. How many? How and ma- so that's fun or not? Fun? How many? No, times, not fun. Yeah, but that's like that's what happens at the end of the night. How that's... many times do you roll over trying to find a good spot? <laughs> Like thirty, bro. That's what thirty, me, bro. Me and Ty have a joke. We say it's like a fish out of water. You just fucking flipping yeah, back and bro. forth. Yeah, like you it. stop and you're like, oh no, this position I could feel like my pulse on the pillow. And then like the next position is like, no, my hands can't go there. And then you feel the beat. And then it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, this position is too cold. And then the other position, oh, too warm, yeah. bro. It's like a fucking Goldilocks situation, bro. The porridge, yo, too hot, too the small. Porridge. Oh, this bed's too big, too small. Like yo, it's a hundred percent that. It when you're on it hours. and you can't get comfortable. Yeah, bro, you're yeah, in your room for like two hours. Bro, one time I, I went back down and I took I brought a fan up. You know, I even opened my window, brisk of winter, bro. Turned my heat on 100% and then put on the oh, fucking You know why? Because you need window. something going on. Like when you're at a party, it's like there's always something. You're laughing at something. So you're happening. drinking something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're la- like you're talking. It's, a, bro, it's an upper, right? But the nothing, minute you're alone, like you got, yeah. the way I see it, any upper is an upper until you're alone. Because when you're alone, it's not an upper anymore because you're alone. You know, what's the worst thing for a human being to be in? In isolation. You know what I mean? You go fucking crazy when you don't have another human being connection. Humans are, are, are born to connect dude, with yeah, other dude, humans. Yeah, the weird thing with me, though, is that, dude, I, I like being alone, which is weird for me. At one point, I like at one point, too. No, I like no, it. At one point. Like, but I like it a little but, too much, But think though. of you being alone for 48 hours. I don't mind you know that. I, mean? I don't mind. If, okay. if I can, if, if I can, if I can, no, not, like not seeing anyone, not texting anyone, just you and yourself, bro. You go crazy. No, I, I, dude. Even it was. But last yo, year, that's what I'll ask. That's what I want to ask. Like it was so. You know, it was last year during Christmas. Um, there was Christmas like I was kind of I was in my head about some year. shit that was going on. <laughs> that was going on with with my mom or whatever. So Zen for is two home. for it was three days. Where I didn't even look at my phone, didn't text anybody, nothing. He a ghost. I didn't. I, I literally went ghost, and I felt great in those moments. I was just like, you know what? It's just me, myself, and I was able to chill. I didn't have to worry about nothing, whatever. You proceeded to call me down fucking eighteen hundred times. So you I, thought I, I was like, dead. I like to talk. You thought I was right? dead. You thought I was dead or in jail. I, oh, <laughs> that was the, hey was man. The two things. Hey man. Because then I'm where else ma- are you gonna be? Because you know, what? I'm getting messages from Hasty. He goes, Yo, are you good? Because John Luke's been messaging me, thinking you're dead or in jail. I'm like, Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm just fucking. I'm just. I chilling. that day, that day, I remember I was at work and I, you weren't answering me. So I said, Fuck. If this guy is either because the way you left, you were driving, right? So I said, Bro, there's two options here. This guy's fucking in in. Got a DUI. In, the, in the hospital or he's in, in jail. Mm-hmm. So I started checking like my bank to see if I had enough money for like bail. Mm-hmm. I was going to like look to sell like my stocks to like just calculating like how quick I could get money in my hands to bail this fucker out. Finally, he calls me. And he's like, no, I just been sleeping. Yeah, I was like, fuck, buddy. I had like five G's like, you know, like waiting to like bail your ass out of jail, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I appreciate it, man. For <laughs> waiting for the court here. Like, you know, we get you a fucking lawyer, probably like off a fucking bus nah, stop sign or some you. shit. Yeah, I've you. noticed. Yeah. Me and Ricky were talking I, I called about my you broker at dinner. Even we went to dinner with the girls. We were like, "Oh, yeah. ah, Jay, man, like the gals, just like always want to give us stuff. You just always want to have them around." He's like, and "Ricky, same thing. We we're so lit." He's like, "Yeah, man, like you know, it's so fucking crazy. Like, guy does nothing, and we just all love ha- having him around." I'm like, yeah, yeah, dude, it's like. I know because I was talking. About, I was like, I saw the sweater you bought him. It was so nice, bro. I loved it. Yeah, it was great, oh, man. the Jordan sweater. Jordan so sweater. nice, bro. That's even like Ricky yesterday. Gets it. Ricky he, gets he called me yesterday, and, and I was, I was in the car for that. It was probably pretty. It was a, it was a funny moment for me. J- yeah, that's yeah. I remember even that. <laughs> but yeah, it was. Um, he called me yesterday, and he was like, "Yeah, like I really want to like get out of town for you know yeah. to do stuff." And I was like, "Okay, like I, I talked to Ty, I talked to Hayes, and I go." Everyone, would, everyone would love to come, but it's just like listen, me and John Luke, we just went to Blue. Not a lot of people are gonna be down to just oh, go yeah, and see yeah. whatever. So then he goes to me, he goes, Yo, I'm I'm probably gonna go to London to go see John. Salt one of his buddies. Goes, Johnny boy. He's like, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to London to go see John. I go, Okay, yeah, that should be good. He goes, Fuck it. Do you wanna come? Just me and you? We'll go, just the two of us. We'll just get a place out. We'll rent a hotel out there and it's we'll just the go. rent the hotel, that's the hard decision. That's the hard decision. I was like, Rig, I, I was, yeah. and then this is when I was like, you know what? We already made plans to come here 
and then drink before you said podcast you texted me that this morning yeah yeah but we already made plans to have a poker night here or whatever right? it's just like, like i kind of feel bad it. i wanted like i didn't want to influence his decision bro if everybody wanted to go no, no i know was, and it wasn't that it's go. just like dude it, it, it was go. no one no one was it's too so he said next Last weekend minute. he wants to do that i go okay that's ample notice yeah, yeah. to let people yeah. know about it it's like when, once the day before i'll go i'll it's definitely you know? dude i you i like it's celebration man yeah it's finish celebration. an exam yeah, like right? that's like yeah you know, we he, need a we need a reason to party these days exactly yeah and it's funny enough he's he's coming <laughs> you're nah, so nah, right. nah, i told you i told you i told you <laughs> Literally calls me. He goes, yo, what time can we come? I go, who are you with? He goes, Hayston and Laura. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. 30, buddy. Oh, man. And Ty, we were same time. So. Okay. Nice. Mm. Ty said he's not going to come in. I was like, Ty, come in for a why, fucking why, minute. Why? He's like, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Oh, Ty, that, come it's the, in. It's the minute thing. Come by for a minute. Come, come by for that's a bit. It. Come by for a minute. Come that's by it. for a bit. A minute turns into an that's hour. It. That's it. I'll, yeah. I'll invite you. I know she'll come hang with Laura. No problem. That's it. Yeah, I feel like Laura definitely really wants <laughs> someone here. Cause... He texts me. Hey, so goes, yeah, is any, like, uh, are you bringing Joanne? I go, no, probably not. He goes, oh, because Laura, I think I told you this is in the car. Yeah. He's like, Laura wants to come. I'm like, dude, more than welcome. Like, I think it's just going to be, honestly, I thought it was me, you, John, Luke, and them anyways. I didn't think anybody else was coming. Many yeah, men. No, glad that everybody's coming. Many yeah. men. So in fucking Blue I Mountain, I feel it though. I feel it though. You, you want to? So in Blue Mountain, bro, we're leaving uh, the bars. We're pretty fucked up at this point. Uh, four sangrias deep. The, the girls are bitching, and even Japoris was bitching about the white sangria not having alcohol. I was like, that's what, dude. I was drinking the fuck yeah. out of that thing. I was like, do you really fucking think these people are losing their fucking liquor license to like cheap you out on fucking white sangria? That's twenty eight dollars. I was like, do you, do you really fucking think that that's what they're doing? <laughs> Wait, do you want to know what the kicker is too? Is they go to us. Let's order another one. By the time we finished dinner and they were already oh, to leave and settle they up, even there were still drink. like a, there were still like half a sandwich. Like, like bro, fucking everybody three drinking fucking quarters. Shit. Yeah, bro, it's was thirty dollars like, for I, this. Thing. I was pretty fucked up at this point, so like you know, was me, this I, the I day you were snowboarded? No, no, this is the night before, before, before at dinner. Okay, so so we get in a cab with fucking you know fucking Pippi goddamn long stocking bitch, and um, so right I, I'm, I'm talking to like I'm sitting beside uh, Divian <laughs> Divian. Davina. Davina. <laughs> I fuck, he I fuck, was fucking up her name the whole, the whole weekend. weekend bro. You're you, calling her Divian. It's bro, Davina. I'm, I'm like Don Cherry with fucking names. I fucking butcher them. So fucking, I'm calling the whatever. So I'm sitting back there with Emma and uh, Div. Davina. Davina. There, there we go. go. It's so easy. I, I called her Davian. It's uh, Dev and <laughs> Davina. 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 So I'm, I, I open my phone. And I have Daniel Keith as my background because he's my best friend. Right, passed away. Rest in peace. So fucking, she's like, that's Daniel Key. So I'm talking about it. I'm like, yeah, like telling the story and shit. And then uh, I was like, yeah, like, you know, when someone wants to like, you know, end, end their life, like there's not much you can do. Like that's their decision. You know what I mean? Like if they really feel like they need to do it, they need to do it. You know, there's nothing you could say that will then change. To look at it. Yeah. So then the girl that's driving us, Cap she's driver. like, hey, can you stop talking about that? And we're in the far back seat of a fucking van, right? So I don't even know how. And I wasn't screaming. I was talking lightly. You're like, you couldn't even hear me. No. it was. Uh, let me just say, it, you yeah. know what it was? It was he was talking in the very back about this. And she was in the front. And we had, like, music playing or whatever. And she, I can hear her because I was in the middle section of the cab. I can hear her trying to say something, but I can't hear her. It's like, a cab driver. Cab driver. Yeah. yeah. Old so girl. I'm like, sorry, what did you say? And then she said it again. I couldn't hear. I was like, sorry, what did you say? So I go to John and goes, hey, pause the music. I can't hear her. And then I ask her, sorry, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. And then she was uh, like, yeah, can you guys not talk about that? Because my brother, was it her yeah, brother? Her brother. Her, her brother. brother committed suicide. She's like, it's a rough topic for me to hear. Did you ask her about it? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna dis I'm gonna dissect that. No, for real. Sometimes people no, no, want to talk no, about they, they, it. Was she like oh, she did it? She didn't want me to talk about my friend yeah. being suicide. But was she like sad or was she angry? When she, she, was, she wasn't angry. She was nice about it, but it, the way she just asked, she said, "Can you guys not talk about it?" To which they just kind of went into. It's like, yeah. yo, listen, like we're having our own conversation. You want to listen First, to our yeah, conversation? Let me just say, she didn't knock. She didn't knock to be like you know. May I enter this conversation? <laughs> right? I like I didn't hear a fucking doorbell if she like wanted to enter a conversation. So she's kind of entered. Uh, I, I would call it a break and enter. You know what I mean? Where she didn't get in, two different perspectives you know of this I mean? girl right she, now. She she didn't get invited to the conversation, right? Like she didn't own the car either. Like that cab is owned by the company. So it's not like it was her vehicle, like it was an Uber or anything. So like she had no right to enter the conversation. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we were in her house, you know. So like I, I prefer like someone to ring the doorbell. As a nice gesture, maybe call. She was though. She was talking lightly. She was like, saying yeah, she but didn't no, want to she didn't knock. It. She didn't knock. She asked. And Jay was the knock. This was this was this was that's that's a knock. This is my like, stance I can hear on it. a knock. This is my stance on it. It's like if you're picking up people in a cab, you gotta understand they're gonna talk about whatever. 
as, as tough as it may be when it comes to suicide, I mean, if the people in the back want, like John Luke, want to talk about the situation, let them talk. I know it might be rough for you to hear, yeah. but, you know, maybe let them, if, if you're picking up passengers, let them talk about it. Yeah. At the same time, though, when she did say it was her brother, that's a little, it might be. Okay, uh, but you it know. could be her stepbrother. Like, you know what I mean? She could be fucking him. Who knows? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. But that got dark quick. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, it was. It was one of those ones where I yeah. mean, listen. I was just me and Chapor just sitting in the middle, just kind of just listening yeah, to everything yeah. going on, right? But you know, I, I understood it from both points of view. So you know, I'm, at, at the end of the day, I mean, it was a cab ride, and maybe yeah. just let John Luke had to vent some shit, so just let Emma's him uh, Emma's friend Davina. 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 Were you we venting? Go. It was like a venting. No, she it was just, wasn't. Was venting. She was just really asking just like what happened, like yeah, like, yeah. like 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 how yeah. do you know him? You, so get, was, you get into your feelings. Yeah, yeah, it. obviously, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember when I first found out, I fucking, I think we were at Ellie's drinking, and I probably finished like a fucking, you know, like a Texas Mickey of like champagne. I got to my house and I, I couldn't put my key in the door so i literally just slept outside like on my patio furniture this was in the summertime it just wasn't cold but i woke up to it just pouring rain at like five in the morning yeah i remember this yeah yeah <laughs> and like i walked in my mom was like what the fuck's wrong with you i was like oh, well, buddy just passed away yeah. <laughs> i was literally like deep in the alcohol you know what i mean call yeah. calling his phone even when we were at the cottage when i was with you guys at the cottage Probably called his phone like four or five yeah, times. Yeah, I felt so bad about that. I went to he literally. I woke up in the morning after we did the zoomies, and I'll go in the morning to text messages from him saying, "Yo, can you come out to the living room? Because like I'm, I've been calling Keith. Like I'm upset right now. I was sleeping. Right, I felt so bad. I was like, fuck. Bro, like I was literally calling him, just like you know what I mean, leaving like voicemails, and like he doesn't have his phone, obviously. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fucking, I don't even know why I had to say that, but his mom probably has his phone. So, like, she could probably listen to these voices, but I was just, like, you know what I mean? Filling him in, like, hatching up, like, what I've been up to, like, just telling him, like, you know, getting right down to it. But it was, like, oh, your message is, like, you know, just ending now. So, I was, like, okay. And then I call him again, like, leave another, like, 20-minute voicemail. I was, like, fuck, bro. Bro, that probably helped the mom out. If the mom did have the phone and saw that, like, she kept it as, like, something that reminded her of yeah. the son. Or maybe she's looking at it later and she's, yeah. she goes to these voicemails. She listens to them and yeah. she's, like. Man, like my son was good. You know, I'm not going. Oh, through, no, he, I'm not he, going he, he through this alone. Good. Like what he actually did, he um when he bought a new car, so he still had like a 2015, and when he bought like a 2018 or 2019, what he did was he donated his 2015. He didn't sell it. You know, most people like you and I would just sell it, right? Mm-hmm. Like you know what I mean, get money for it. What he did is he donated it to like uh, you could donate it to a thing where they sell the car and they use those proceeds for like kids with cancer. Right, so he donated his vehicle instead of just selling it for like a fucking profit or like just some money to buy next vehicle. He donated to like cancer, like for like kids with cancer. And I was like, bro, like that's that's pretty good, man. Good dude. Yeah, great. Dude, I even dude. remember when uh, so we were supposed to go to Curie's on. It was a Thursday, and I I kept trying to call him, but he wouldn't answer. And then eventually ended up picking up the phone, and then I could hear him like tearing up on the phone. I was like, what what happened? And he told me what happened because I knew Keith because I played baseball with him, but he grew up with him in preschool. Really? Yeah. Yeah, preschool. Preschool. So munchkins we were. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. So and, and so I heard him like kind of tearing up, right? So I was like, oh, okay, fuck. It's a serious situation. So I was getting ready to go to – or no, sorry. This was the day before. But I, my mom was on the phone with her friend. And I walk into the living room and go, hey, I just want you to let you know uh, Keith passed away. Daniel Keith passed away. And my mom was like, sorry, what did you say? I was like, Daniel Keith passed away. Immediately she goes to her friend. She goes, I, I got to call you back. Hangs up the phone. She goes, what the fuck did you just say to me? I go, Daniel Keith passed away. And she remembers him from – because our parents were, you know, family friends or whatever. And uh, my mom, imme- as soon as I said it again, immediately just broke down, just started crying. I was like, "Oh Jesus Christ!" Yeah, he's, well, a, good, I, he's a good dude, man. Good dude. I remember uh, when I found out I was at Emma's house, and when I got home that night, bro, like I walked to my parents' room. I had work the next morning, and I walked to my parents' room. They're like, "What's wrong?" I was just bawling my eyes out, and I'm like, "Like Keith passed away," and they're like, "Like who? Like what do you mean Keith passed away?" And I was like, "You yeah, know, Daniel exactly. Keith. Like he passed away," and they're like, "Like no, like not Daniel right, Keith." So and I was like, "Yeah, like." Daniel Keith, like, right. committed suicide. and I was just bawling my eyes there for like 20 minutes, just telling them, like, what happened. I couldn't, like, I, I was at Emma's, and basically, like, we were like drinking with Josiah, and like, I saw like a fucking wooden nail or like a nail, like, on the above the porch. So it's like, oh, like, you know what I mean? It's like those uh, videos where they like, they, you know what I mean? They choke themselves while they're jerking off, and like, you know what I mean? They get high from that. And she's like, oh, you shouldn't joke about that. Like, I, I recently had a friend uh, that I went to high school with that passed away. So it's just like, I literally, I'm like, stop what i was saying i was like wait what and she was just like yeah like my friend daniel like he passed away he went to redmond and i knew like he went to redmond as well so i was like yo don't finish that fucking sentence 
She's like, why do you know him? Like, his name was Daniel Keith. And I'm like, fuck me, bro. Like, cause I was texting him like Sunday night and like, or like Saturday night, you know what I mean? Having a conversation with, called him, whatever. And that was the day that I went on like the thousand dollar date. Right. So I remember like, just fucking, I called him like probably like 10 times. It was like, shut up. Like, you're not telling them me the truth. Like, you know, like he didn't pass away. She's like, no, like he passed away. And I was like, yo, like, Emma, like you're lying to me or you know what I mean? You're being a snake, whatever. Like, I don't believe you one bit. Called his phone about like 15 times, like leaving voicemail after voicemail after voicemail. So I'm sitting inside, just ball my eyes out. Emma's like, you know what I mean? Comforting me. Josiah's just like, bro, like, you know, he's trying to say like, oh, he had someone who passed away. I'm like, bro, like it wasn't your best friend. So like, shut up, bro. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, I dated some girl and like he killed himself because I was dating the girl. I was like, bro, like it wasn't your yeah, best friend. Yeah, like yeah, that doesn't matter. It's not the same. It's not the same at all. Not at all. So like, you know what I mean? And then like I get a call from like Daniel Keith. So I was like, holy shit. Like, you're such a, like, I, I started snapping at him. I'm like, yo, don't ever fuck with me like that. Like, stop fucking lying to me. Like, I was I was getting pissed at her. And I answered the phone, and, like, it's his mom. Like, um, I forget her name. But it's her mom. It's his mom. And he's like, John Luke? And I was like, yeah. I was like, where's Daniel? And she's like, like, you didn't, like, I, I'm, I'm assuming you didn't hear. It. And she's like, yeah, like, he committed suicide. I don't know how he committed suicide, and I don't want to know. So, like, she's like, yeah, like, he, he ended his life. And she's like, yeah, you were a really big part in his life. And, like, I'm sorry that, like, you know, you couldn't help him. Like, you tried your best and stuff. And I was like, yo, sh- shut up. Like, I, t- I literally said to her, I was like, stop it. I was like, you're, you're not telling me the truth. She's like, no, like, like you have to accept it. He's, he's gone. And I was like, no. Like, I just hung up on her. I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not fucking listening to this shit. I was like, I don't want to hear it. And then I called her the next day. I was like, okay, like, you know, I'm a little bit more, like, sober and shit. I was like, okay, like, tell me what happened. She told me. I was just like, okay, fuck. Like, you know I mean? I'm never going to see this guy again in my life. Tough. There's not much you could say to a person that wants to do it. You could, you, like, I, I talked to him. I texted him, like, for, like, days. You know what I mean? I thought he was good. And then mm-hmm. I went out with Priya that night. I, I called him, left the voicemails. And then I think he passed away Tuesday or Monday. I'm pretty sure it was Monday. Or Sunday night. And Monday, I was like, Monday. Yeah, it was Monday. I was Monday. like, bro, what the hell, bro? So many times I'll look at those messages and be like, fuck, man. Like, what can you do different? But you can't. You can't. You can't. Because it's not, you're, you're, not, you're not staying with him. So you can't no. prevent him from doing it. it it's in his and own And the, the thing was, hand. like, I didn't know. Like, remember we went for sushi. I invited him. So I didn't know where he lived because he moved away from the house that I thought he, that he lived at when I was there when I was a child. So, like, I didn't know where he was or else I would have gone, like, brought him out of his house, right? But, like... You know, I mean, you can't do much through a phone. That's why I, I, I majority blame kind of COVID. People say, oh, people are dying of COVID. It's like people aren't looking at like the mental health aspect of what COVID is doing to people. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was a great example. Like, hmm. you know, being in seclusion, he couldn't go out. He couldn't express himself. He couldn't do anything. And he couldn't like after a breakup like that, after four years of being in a relationship, mm-hmm. you need to get out there and you need to express yourself. You need to, you know what I mean? See what's out there. If you're locked up in your house and your doctor's prescribing pills, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You're going to, it's something's going to happen. Something's going to click mm-hmm. in your head. Right. Dude, it's even like you, when you had the, uh, like probably like a month and a half ago, you had you got strapped again, and you were just going ghost, right? So yeah. I knew I knew you were probably good, but I had f- five people message me, being like, "Yo, where's John Luke? He hasn't been asking me. Is he good? He ended included. our snap streak, <laughs> I was like, bro." I was like, I, no, "For real?" I, I I messaged him too. I was like, "Cause I got to the point. I was like, okay, because I called you, messaged you, you didn't answer me. So I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on with him, right?" But it was good, bro. I had fucking Julia. I had Ellie. I had Vanessa. I had Ty. Everyone's messaging me just saying, yeah, wait, like, what's good with John? Well, I, I, I thought it was uh, something to do with Alex. And then uh, you had to like do it like something bad happened. Like, yeah. I, I thought it was. Two, took I thought it was Austin, honestly. I thought because that was when Austin yeah, yeah, had, assumed he had the bad night. So I, I was just, yes. you know, I thought maybe yeah, Austin yeah, might have, yeah, you know, Jay thought it was I didn't, I thought it was Austin, but yeah, you messaged me back after and you're like, yeah, no, no I'm yeah. Just, whenever I, I get know. sick, I just fucking, I, I disassociate myself from the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, cause I just don't want to be a part of anything. I don't want to open anything. I don't want to no, get influenced. It's like, it's like a way to heal, man. Not it's a the, refresher. Not only the body, but the mind. Yeah. And no, that 100%. helps out. It's a refresher. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a good time to take a ten. It's nice to delete like Snapchat or Instagram yeah. every once in a while, just For to, sure. just to connect. To with realize yourself. there's other things going on. Outside. Yeah, like you can be in that world. Everybody's in that world. You have to, but like to also take the step back and say, you know, this weekend I don't have to. Like, yeah, like, two. No, hundred like, percent. I, I, that's why I like going to the cottage. Where I put my phone away. It's no problem. It's like I'm gonna enjoy my time with my friends here and the yeah. people that I'm with. And like it's just the memories last better, man. You're not yeah, worried yeah. about what people. I just are like thinking. taking pictures just so you me- remember. You know what I mean? Because you never yeah. know when life's gonna end. Yeah. You know. But like, say, how often do you look back at those pictures? You know what I mean? Like. 
I do remember like, the memories since like. since Keith passed away, and I was looking at some of the photos at the uh, funeral. Like yeah. if you if you if anything does happen where you do pass away at a young age, you know what I mean, where you have so much friends. Like think like if you were to pass away now, you'd have more people come to your funeral than if you were older, just because at this age you touch yes. more people than yes. like if you were like oh, yeah. forty and stuff, where you cut off most of those connections. Hundred percent. Right. So like they just the, wither away. Exactly. So the m amount of pictures you might have might be. You know what I mean? I want my personal funeral, like let's say if I were to pass away at this age and time, I would want like pictures for people to see that they could connect with and be like, I remember that night. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. like that's why I like taking pictures. That's why I got into photography to really capture the moment. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what you're doing. It's just to capture the moment where let's say you want to make a scrapbook when you're older. Yeah. You know what I mean? You might have, oh, or you want to show sure. your kids what it's you like, were up that's to. That's what Instagram is. It's like a, it's like a profile. Like you can look back at that. It is, but like that's why I make one for my dog and stuff too, right? But he's only. You gonna, love that dog, man. He, I do, but he only he's only gonna last, let's say, fourteen years at best, fifteen. Yeah. But like your memories with your friends, we humans last a lot longer, right? So like it's good to keep those photos. Like maybe you want to show your kids what you were up to at yeah. age twenty four or twenty five, right? Yeah. Bro, the world will change. For my kids. But when I hope like. Because I have all those photos too on my phone. Everybody yeah. does. Like, I hope when I get older, I don't think about those old memories. Like, you know, what a dumb, irresponsible kid. Like, now I got, no. you know, responsibility in a family. Like, I don't even want to look back and remember those. Because, like, you know, I'm, I'm you different know? now. No, no, I'm just saying, like, I don't want to turn into that. Like, I want to be able to look back on those memories and always be like, man, blissful moments. Like, yeah, that's your yeah, time yeah. with your that's friends. That's what I mean. Like, like make that's a what I'm scrapbook saying, right? and you can show your kids, like, this is what we were up to. At yeah, this age. exactly. You know I mean? right? Something like, to share And to, like, appreciate family. it. You know Exactly, what I mean? exactly. Yeah. But that's why I don't like Instagram because you don't know. Like, yeah, your photos are on there and everything, but you don't know where that app is going. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, maybe one day that yeah, app yeah. just gets wiped. Bro, me and Jay right? talk about the photography page. We love it, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. Cause we get to see good pictures of us, like, going out, man. I loved when he, yeah. when he brought it to It's college. fun. It's yeah, fun. Yeah. You no, just have great. a few drinks. You do yeah. a photo shoot. And, like, I love it. I love some it. Some of them turn so, out great, and then you just throw those up. Sorry to cut you guys out. Uh, Ty's here. Uh, all right. Yeah, go deal with them. Me and, me and John. Go yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll uh, wrap it up in a couple minutes here. What? Right now? No, like we still got time, bro. Yeah, everybody's here. Yeah, All right, you, sit down. Tell them to pick sit up down. Some let's pods? end it up. Yeah. Let's end it up. Why so early? We well, you so know what? Time. We did get cut off, so you're gonna get your wish, and we're gonna be that second segment. We're gonna have to get you. We're on gonna have to do a second segment, yeah, guys. We'll we are, dude. It's ten thirty. I mean, we we got into the, we enemies. got into some good stuff. I think. I, I think yeah, so did, too. Did, How'd you like it? I liked it. Yeah. Did you like it? It's a fucking good time. Good, dude. I want to do another one. I know. I we have to do a second ending. Jay, so far, I guess I always wanted to know. That's good, buddy. Come on, second time, man. Dude, that's enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's good. No, we, we still have more to talk about. Thank though. you for coming, bro. No, we still have more. <laughs> Thank you for the gin. We're doing a second inning of this tomorrow, maybe. And uh, <laughs> Jay, you got a sign off? We'll see you guys soon, motherfuckers. Easy. Uh, to finish off here, um, best advice I can give to you guys, listen. If you're not first, you're last. Oh, yeah. Ricky Bobby. If you're not first, you're last. Theme of the reactions Sh video. Shake and bake. Reactions Watch video. Watch it. Clips reaction. channel. Clips channel. Black and white. Black, white. Clips. Number, we're doing it. <laughs> we're doing a season two of this motherfucker. Easy. Season two, episode three. Episode th <laughs> two, three. <laughs> Who gives a fuck what See episode you later. is? See you later. End of the day, worry about yourself. Click and subscribe, you bitch ass motherfuckers. <laughs>